wait, where's the, uh, hold on. Let's have our little walkthrough. I, you know what? I'm sure they'll show us. Let me just go in. Coaching and Charlotte. I never thought she'd see you two together. Nice to see you again, Traveler and Paimon. Oh, we're Hi, not Charlotte. anything, are we? <laughs> not at all. I wasn't in the middle of an interview or anything. I was just asking Miss Kuching about purchasing a kite. A kite? Are you buying some regional specialties to bring back to Fontaine? Well, yes. And... And... You haven't heard yet. Thank you guys for the lyrics. I appreciate you. Kites. Oh, so that's why Paimon has seen so many floating in the sky. Bro, this is so cute already. The harbor is always changing. So it is only fitting that Lantern Rite should change in turn. The Qixing believes it would benefit Liyue to build on our own cultural foundation by embracing the technologies of other nations. Hmm. After all, it is said that the stones of another mountain may serve to better polish one's own jade. Yeah, remember my business meeting with Tian Chuen Ningguang the last time I was in Liyue Harbor? That's what it was about! Huh. But all I really did was use my network to introduce Lady Ningguang to some interesting people. I'm not sure that quite counts as fostering cooperation. In the end, we decided to combine Liyue's traditional art of kite making with Fontaine's mechanical vertical lifting device. Wow. Mechanical lifting device? Sounds pretty impressive. Uh, but don't kites just use the wind to fly? Why would you need to add something mechanical? Well, you've actually just answered your own question, Paimon. How high and far a kite can fly depends as much on the weather conditions as on the skill of the person holding True. the True. But as soon as there's no wind, you can only flail about helplessly like a sweet flower medaka out of water. Experience doesn't matter at that point. Exactly. Liyue is now a nation ruled by humans, after all. It's about time we had the power to make a kite fly, don't you think? Plus... The easier we can make it to enjoy, the more people will want to participate. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. It's not a bad idea. Sounds awesome. Also, Cam, welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. Yes, it is lantern right time. It is, it is. Um, Charlotte, <laughs> Charlotte, you're a grande. Yes, and is crazy, by the way. Oh, my God. I can't even tell you the last time I flew a kite, you guys. I actually, no idea. Right? I also thought it was a novel idea. Plus, it shouldn't cost much to do. With Miss Charlotte's help, everything has gone smoothly. Our new mechanical kites are already available to purchase from a stall in the harbor. We're having trouble keeping up with demand. They're cute. The J Chamber one is crazy. Quite a bit of thought to the price. We didn't want it to be too much more expensive than a traditional kite. Cool. Turns out you two and Ningguang like playing with toys just as much as Paimon. <laughs> Yo. Uh, toys? They're. Not exactly. I didn't toys. know Paimon liked to play with toys, you bro. See, Kuching, that does seem to be everyone's first reaction. Hmm. Although kites are one of our most time honored cultural relics, outside of their use in certain ceremonies, I suppose they're considered playthings more than anything now. But to me, there's so much more than that. Think for a second about how remarkable it is that a flimsy paper kite attached to a string has the capacity to touch the sky. Well, it is Kuching is in her bag. It is a piece of paper that also carries the weight of Liyue's cultural traditions. There's an old poem that goes, O kite born of paper, flying true and sound, a lone traveler wanders, just waiting to be found. Send them love, send them words, send them homeward bound. Are they not going to finish the sentence? In the past... Poets from Liyue used kites not. to symbolize a feeling of longing or evoke the peacefulness of idyllic rural scenery. If the people of today can derive enjoyment from this activity, they will not only be more likely to better appreciate the tradition, but also to pass it down to the people of tomorrow. That's the Kuching we know, always thinking five mm. steps ahead of anyone else. Well said, Miss Kuching. I've learned quite a bit myself. <laughs> as long as you're willing to listen, I'm happy to share. I also know quite a lot about the various folk traditions related to kites. For example, whenever a kite blew away, 
People would say it was the Adepti that summoned the wind to take hmm. it away as an offering. That way, you can turn an unfortunate event into an auspicious one. That's cute. What about something... more fun? Do you know anything like that? More fun... Hmm, let me think. Well, they've been... I really oh, like the graphic changes they've... I suppose they've, we should first talk about how kites are made. It's they've another made. one of our precious forms of traditional craftsmanship. My grandfather told me that, back when he was a boy, children learned the art of kite making step by step from their elders. First, you use the thin strips of bamboo to construct the frame. Then, you draw a design of your choice on a piece of paper, paste it onto the frame, and tie on the string. Then, you look towards the sky and release the kite to soar among the clouds. Some people write down certain names or desires on their kites, cut the string, and let them hmm. fly free. Others may place particular thoughts or meaning into the design itself. Are certain designs associated with certain meanings? <laughs> I'm gonna jot all of this down. <laughs> Child, so goofy. Hmm. Well, for example, kites in the shape of a butterfly typically symbolize freedom, happiness, or the desire to break free. Fascinating. What else can you tell me? The scissored-tailed swallow is the most classic design. It symbolizes good fortune and joyful tidings. Different colors also have small variations in meaning. Are these commonly understood meanings and Can they have this the conversation on their own? It's kind of like the language of flowers in Fontaine. I guess it's interesting. Mm, I believe so. Most We're just like here. Heard something about it from their elders at some point. If you're interested, Miss Charlotte, I have several books on That's the topic this POV. that I could lend you. They could be a useful reference. <laughs> that would be a huge help! Great! Looks like I've got the outline for quite the article on my hands. <laughs> Hope it goes well. Perfect! We're gonna take a look around! Okay. Then I'll show Miss Charlotte to my home for a little while. Wow, they're gonna hang out. That's cute. Uh, I almost forgot. The Ministry of Civil Affairs is hosting a kite flying contest on the night of Lantern Rite. If you're interested, you're more than welcome to bring a kite and participate. Okay. The rules are simple. Whoever flies their kite the highest and furthest within the time limit will receive a special honor along with a secret prize. Oh, okay. I've already prepared more than enough empty film for the event. I can see the spectacle already. We'll be there. Oh, Paimon was on board the moment you said secret prize. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll look forward to seeing your performance. You bet! See you then! Okay. They can make it so that when you have 100% in an area, the mini map shows the rest of the treasure. That Wait, would be nice. Trevor? That would be super Take nice. Take your ride. Do you see those two people lurking over there? Oh, so it was meant to be sus. Yeah, I see them. Is it just Paimon? Or were they staring at us the whole time we were talking to Kuching and Charlotte just now? Hmm. They I already know who this is. The Chishing do attract a lot of attention, I agree. Huh. I know who they are yes, based on their color palette already. Something's up. Paimon just has a bad feeling. Do you think they could be treasure hoarders? They always seem to be stirring up trouble during Lantern Rite. Oh, Paimon's sick of waiting around for something bad to happen. We should strike first, you know. Foil their plans before <laughs> That's they cute. Even you you tell him Paimon. Wait, Paimon. The Orioles bask in spring, the heavens present auspices? Wow, too many words. Thing one and thing two is crazy. All right. Oh. Not Isarelth and Timmy. Jesse, welcome in. Look at them! Such urgency that you appear before us. I wish they weren't NPCs. Suggests you believe us to have committed some heinous crime. Perhaps you could enlighten us as to your intentions. <laughs> John. Wow, where did this buddy daddy come from? They did do them dirty. I wish they weren't NPCs. Very sad. Tell us everything, starting with your name. Uh, See, like they could no be so cool playable. Two such as yourselves. You stand in the presence of the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Moon Carver. For the purpose of this foray into the mortal realm, however, you may address one as Ho Jong. Ho Jong. Okay. You kidding? That deer's got his head 
<laughs> yeah, Zach's voice is crazy. You may want to hold your tongue, Paimon. <laughs> Don't think <that> Paimon <laughs> she zoomed over just because you know her name. Let Paimon guess. You're supposed to be Mountain Shaper, right? Yo, Indeed. he's actually goofy. Mooncarver and myself have descended upon the mortal realm for a visit. The two of you may call me Jiahu. Okay. Huh. Looks like you did your research. But in our experience, the harder you try to lead us on, the more likely it is that we've got a big fish on our hands. We'll go straight to the Lilith and have you arrested for impersonating yeah. a deaf guy. Yo. Preposterous. Utterly preposterous. <laughs> That's so funny. If you really are who you claim to be, perhaps you can prove it. Tell us something that only an adeptus would know. And it better not be some common knowledge that any person on the street could tell you. Mm. <sighs> During the last lantern rite, we gathered at Mount Hulao with Rex Lapis and made use of Cloud Retainer's supreme cuisine machine to prepare bamboo shoot soup. Perhaps you have some recollection? The flavor of that what happens if you weren't playing during the last lantern right appetite. as such cloud retainer assented to my use of the device beyond that singular occasion providing other recipes to boot since then one has dabbled in the pleasures of the culinary arts whenever time allows that's kind of cute dabbled upon one's last sojourn to your mountain did you not immediately attempt to hide the device behind a chunk of amber as soon as one's presence was known i wasn't they say the same uh, thing i see did one not speak up on your behalf but a moment ago? This is how you choose to repay that kindness? Yeah. <laughs> one is simply trying to emphasize the Hi, Rosemary, of welcome play. in. That does not mean you should reveal He is Bijou, so yeah. They might think one bears no difference from Cloud Retainer. <sighs> Forget it. One does not have the breath to waste on such petty trifles. I suppose they really are the adept eye. Uh. That might have been more detail than we needed. Seems like you two are the real deal, and I'm on sorry for suspecting you. Yo. But, uh, for beings as forgiving as yourselves, this is just water under the bridge, right? Take it as a compliment to the quality of your disguise. Few people will be able to see through it. You indeed have an agile mind. Cloud Retainer was not mistaken in her high estimation of you. I'm still curious about something. It's just... Paimon can understand why Mountain Shaper is here, but... Why did you decide to come to the city, Mooncarver? It's not really your thing, is it? Hmm. <sighs> it is but, but an inevitable, inevitable eventuality. Oh! Long have the mountains remained strangely idle since Cloud Retainers moved to Liyue Harbor. With Lantern right near at hand, one would expect Cloud Retainer to provide us with an account of the festivities in advance. Yet to this day, she has failed to appear. Okay. Cloud Retainer is hardly the forgetful sort. One must never rest idle in the face of that which demands action. And since our acquaintances dwell in Liyue Harbor, we had to travel here in human form to avail ourselves of their aid. Cloud Retainers in this case. But a moment ago, one heard you speak of a mechanical kite of sorts. It appears the essence of the situation has hitherto revealed itself. Now, it is time for one to retire back to one's abode. Nah, y'all should stay. So, you're not looking for Cloud Retainer anymore? Perhaps there are aspects of Cloud Retainer's temperament that remain opaque to young Paimon. Given one's understanding, one can only imagine the anger that now consumes her. Cloud Retainer is of a proud and arrogant disposition. She holds the belief that her skill in mechanics surpasses that of all others. One can be quite certain it is hardly with an open mind mm. that she regards the arrival of this new technology. Interesting. One surmises that she has shut herself away, refused all company, and buried herself in the study of her own creations. To call on her would only invite her rebuke. However, if you do happen to cross paths with her over the next few days, do pass along one's regards. Sure, leave it to us. Have a safe trip back, enjoy the scenery, and happy lantern ride. Cute. Thank you for your kind words. We shall now depart. Bye. Bye. See you later. We got all worked up for nothing, huh? All that trouble, and it turned out to be people we knew all along. 
Well, it's still pretty early. Let's head over and check out the kite stalls. Okay. Paimo wants to see what kinds of kites we can buy to use in the competition. The bigger and prettier, the better. <laughs> okay. It's a vibe. Let's knock this out. Uh, welcome. Are the two of you looking to buy a kite? Would you like me to go over the different designs? Yes. Actually, no. Kaching just told us. I'm doing good, Gabe. How are you? Uh, Not Vin Diesel. This chamber design is our newest. It's been selling like crazy over the past two days. Yeah, the J Chamber is kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Of course, the J Chamber symbolizes wealth and abundance. The kite bearing its design is said to bring riches in the future to those who fly it. Okay. Oh, now that's Paimon's kind of kite. I apologize for the interruption, but are all your wares in order, Miss Genuine? Oh, yes, yes, they're just over there. The paper, bamboo, It'll and crash dyes, the sky is crazy. All the necessary <laughs> kite-making materials. Wonderful. I'll pack them up and get a guard to deliver the goods to Yilong Wharf for you. Yilong Wharf? Oh, wonder what that place is like during Lantern Rite. Paimon would love to go take a look. Well, if the two of you are interested in going to Yilong Wharf, then could I trouble you to find Gaming and deliver these goods together? Hmm. Thea, yeah, thank you so much for the two months resub. I appreciate you. Welcome in. How are you today? Thank you so much for the resub. How are you doing? The communications office handles shipments and transports around Liyue. He works for the Secure Transport Agency, one of our sub organizations. Uh, the problem is, many of my colleagues have taken leave during Lantern Right to spend time with their families. Driving Lantern Right, real. So, so real. Thank you for the resub. I appreciate you. decrease recently. If you were willing to help out, then I could okay. get a head start on my next appointment. You do seem really pressed for time. We'll help, oh, as usual. Uh, you will, of course, be compensated for your efforts. Okay. Now, at this time of day, Gaming should be somewhere in the vicinity. Uh, just follow the main road until you see the head of a... I can't wait to see him costume. in this quest. Should be on your right. Be sure to come back if you'd like to buy a kite. I'll even give you a discount. Thanks. Swag. Weather's well, been crazy? Crazy how? I know, our BB boy. I am adopting him as one of my sons. Wait, I thought we had an agreement. <gasps> what Loser is that? Come tomorrow? <laughs> Look this at looks you. cute. Scout like that for much longer and your face might stay that way. Hey now, don't be upset. How about this? You extend the invitation and I'll pay. Uh, no way, Gaming. You're always the one picking up the tab. I'm not trying to be a sore loser. I just didn't expect you to come from behind a win like that. Yo. <laughs> that was nothing. All in a day's work, friend. He's so cute. Perfect. Gaming is here. Sorry to interrupt, Gaming. We just spoke to a guy from the communications office who needs you to deliver some goods to you on Wharf. Oh, that must have been Longjo. Looks like I've got work. You gotta go. Sure. Go do your thing. Uh, let's have a rematch when you get back. I won't let you win so easily next time. He's so adorable, guys. <laughs> Alrighty, you can hand the goods over to me. Must have been heavy hauling them all this way. Let me take them off your hands. Eh, it wasn't that bad. It's just some kite making materials. Plus, we didn't have to walk very far. Kite making materials. I see, I see. Hmm. I'm glad it wasn't too much trouble, Paimon. Still, I owe you one. Interesting ah, reaction. You must be the traveler. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for your help. Huh? You know us? <laughs> there probably aren't many in Liyue who don't. I've heard quite a bit about you two. You're quite well known around these parts. Oh, and please excuse Longzhou if he forgot to thank you. Uh, take my things in his place. He's, He's so a good polite. guy. He's just been super busy lately. Running around from place to place. Don't be too hard on him, yeah? He's cute. Guys, he's adorable. I really love him. I really, really love him. He is best boy. I agree. This quick learn quest. Okay, can I look after this? Just remind me. So, you here for Lantern, right? Yep. It's always so lively this time of year. We were actually hoping we could tag along to Elong Wharf and have a look around. Perfect. We'll go together then. I'm good with directions, so just follow me. Trust me, I know my way around. 
We can exchange stories, tell jokes, or just chat along the way. Oh, and there are a couple of good places to eat along our route. We can stop and grab a bite when it's time. He's so cute, man. The ingredients are fresh, the portions are generous, and the prices won't break the bank. You can order anything, and I promise you won't be disappointed. You're adorable! Paimon seems to be drooling already. Don't worry, I understand. I joke around like that with my friends, too. It just shows how close you are. Cute! Do you need to pack anything up before we hit the road? I can wait. Nope, our things are always packed and ready. We're pretty much travel experts at this point. Oh, that's right. Then let's get going. If we run into any trouble, you can count on me to protect I would die for him. I know he's so cute. So freaking cute. Look at his mole. I have one in the same place, bro. Me and Gao Ming have matching moles. The reset this dog when you go back to Singapore. It's okay. I can just get up online. Also, that was beautiful. That was so pretty. They always knock it out of the park with these, bro. Oh, the docks are just a bit further. One step at a time. Hang in there. Okay, please don't trigger the world quest, though, because I haven't done that yet. <laughs> Wait, Wait, I don't want Charles Gao Ming. I'll handle this. Although, you know, I have to check. I think even Black Lift is interesting. Okay. Strike clouds converge. Wait, I literally have Gaming in my party. You didn't have to give me a trial, bro. Ali, you! That's cute! Okay. Oh, there's more. I will have order. Rise. <laughs> Many happy returns. Verdict looks pretty sick on him, though. I don't like the blue in it, though. Otherwise, I would have. I feel like you won't make it in time. I feel like I won't either. Yeah. It's not uncommon for deliveries to get intercepted. That's why this job needs guards like us. Paimon was impressed by your moves back there. You seem like a real pro at your job. Oh. <laughs> That's not a skill I learned on the job. It's just a hobby. <laughs> he said I like kicking ass Have for fun. Have you ever fun. heard of dancing? I've heard about it somewhere. Really? Wusho dancing is famous in Chunyu Vale. Performers might be invited to promote the opening of a business or to spread good fortune during a holiday season. Hmm. But I must Hits admit, some gaming. Welcome it in. has nothing on the popularity of the Li Yue Opera. Hmm. I'm also well aware that people in Li Yue Harbor aren't exactly jumping at the chance to watch Wu Shou dancing. So it's not something I do full time. Oh, you sound so sad about it. You have two jobs? How do you have the energy to do all that? <laughs> it's not that tiring. You just have to take a rest. Ah, Paimon gets it, so you must sleep a lot then. Not really. Just yesterday, I stayed up all night playing cards. <laughs> He's just like oh. me for real, minus the cards. Uh... Let's go. The docks are just up ahead. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are we gonna go on a boat ride? Gumming walks forward and exchanges a few words with a boatman near the docks. The next thing you know, he's called for everyone to board a bamboo raft. Okay. I know we have the same mole. Like, that's really my son. Finally, we can rest. Ooh, Paimon's shoulders are so stiff. And her stomach so empty. Yo. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Did I push the pace a bit too much? I mean, you were the ones who said you were travel experts. Leo is just too hilly. Floating there are a lot of hills in, so in the U.A. She's not wrong about that. Paimon was finally satisfied and now her poor stomach's empty again. Aw, would you like some winter melon cake? I have some on me that I bought from a store. Yes, Paimon will take all you got. Uh, you might want to pace yourself there. Or you'll be too full to eat a proper meal later. 
He's so cute, guys. Time I never get too full. Just like... Oh, just like you apparently never get tired, no matter how far you walk or how many jobs you work. Ah, I see. Then here you go, Paimon. And for you, Traveler. Enjoy. Cutie! And here's some for you too, Uncle Borsu. Don't think I forgot about you. Hold on, guys. I'm going to make a poll really quick while this is going as well. Gaoming seems like a real people person. He can get along with anyone and he treats every person he meets like a close friend. <sighs> that hit the spot. Paimon thought she was going to starve to death for a minute there. <laughs> that close of a call, huh? <sighs> I've been eating winter melon cake ever since I was a kid. All right, guys. Please vote in the poll. Places, whether it's a please. small vendor on the side of the road or a big restaurant in the city. But each place produces cakes. With Winter a melon cake sounds flavor. mad good, by if the you way. Like these ones, I can give you the address of the shop I bought them from. I'll just have to check when we get back. <laughs> oh, oh, all my jabbering must be making it difficult for you to enjoy the scenery in peace, huh? Don't be afraid to tell me to zip it for a little while, okay? Really, <laughs> I won't be offended. It's He's okay. so cute. Paimon is kind of enjoying listening to your chitter chatter. Aw, a fed Paimon is a happy Paimon, huh? <laughs> Yo. You slowly lose yourself in the beauty of the surrounding scenery. Before you know it, you're greeted by the sight of Yulong Wharf. It just starts to point out release what is in a couple of hours. There? Don't forget your things and uh, watch your step as you get off the raft or you're in for a swim. Thanks for the ride, Uncle Bosu. You take care of yourself now. I'll see you some other time. Cutie. Okay, follow me. Hi, Steph. We'll have to take the elevator. For the boss who didn't sing for us, I agree. Okay. Can I just <sighs> teleport? No, I can't. It has to be the immersion, guys. Never mind. No teleporting for me. Hey! I slow down. I'm begging you. Oh, sorry, Gumming. What is it? No one's gonna try any funny business when the street is this packed, right? Right? He didn't say anything, right? Okay, we're here. Really, oh, Jesse? Well, uh, when am I gonna be on a Genshin promo I... stream? Maybe if I ever get big enough. Come on, spit it out! Do you see that group of people over there? Um, I see many group Those of people. Are my relatives. Oh, you sure have a big family. And they're all just in the Once same area. Things they won't stop perusing till it gets dark. Oh, this is bad. Yeah. They're your family, not your arch enemies. What's there to be afraid of? Unless. Oh, did you? Their faces, bro. Again? Look. No, it's not. That. <laughs> I'm just not that good at dealing with my family. Oh, baby. It would be best if we could steer clear of them. Okay. I'll explain we'll run. when we have the chance, but right now we've got a job to do. Then we'll just have to sneak past them. Poor BB. Oh, thank you, Dan. That's very the sweet. Side looks pretty packed. Let's go straight. Okay. Slow and steady wins the race. All right, let's get caught on purpose. Fuck it. I'm down. Stick close, traveler. Uh -oh. Catch me. It's, it's gaming. With the cry of Gaming's name, his relatives begin to surround you from all directions. I'm down for a little bit of Gaming. When bullshit. Did you get here? Oh, you've lost even more weight. How long are you planning on staying this time? How's work been? It sounds tough. You should visit home more often. The last time I spoke with your dad, he couldn't stop talking about you. He seems worried. Causing trouble again, are you? Uh... <laughs> This well, poor little bean. After much talking, you finally extricate yourselves from the circle of Gaming's relatives. That is so real, guys. Classic family experience, I'm not gonna lie. Thank you for telling me, little pogs. I'm down to get into a little bit of tomfoolery, you know? Oh, cool. This stuff looks dope. This stuff looks dope? Oh my god, he's so cool! Sorry, that made me so excited for, like, no reason. Uh, that was terrifying! Even Paimon couldn't get a word in! 
It'd be like that with family uh, for real. <laughs> it's a fever well, dream is so just, valid. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Let's get these things delivered first. It's okay. Whenever you're ready to talk about it, we'll be ready to listen. Oh, I love that this is gaming focused. Hey, Uncle Jirigoy. These are my friends, the Traveler and Paimon. They came to deliver some goods with me. Hi. So, I guess I'll go ahead and take these over to Uncle Yongzan then? Yes. Thanks for your hard work. I should thank you both for your trouble as well. Please take a seat and rest for a bit. I'll prepare some tea. Thanks! No need. We'll be off soon anyway. Hey, we're already here, aren't we? No harm in taking a load off for a bit. Plus, I know the Secure Transport Agency has some great Songwa tea stash around here somewhere. Mm. I promise you, one sip and you'll be hooked. Anyway, you just sit down and relax. This is my sign to see six coming. I would love to see six coming if I trouble. could, man. Leave this to me. I have to Thank you, airline. To goods off Adam, anyway. that's crazy. I'm surprised. Oh, you aren't too picky, right, Traveler? I know Paimon prefers things on the sweeter side, so I won't steep the tea too long. He's so and thoughtful. And I'll add some dim sum pastries on the side. He's so thoughtful. You notice what Paimon likes? What a cutie. How long have you two known Gaming? Like two seconds. Oh, not long at all. We just kind of tagged along on his trip to Yilong Wharf. He's just a super welcoming guy. We became friends. You know, just like that. <laughs> That's just how he is. He's the attentive sort. Really knows how to look after his own. He really does. A while He's ago, so cute. One of our guards had to take off work. Said his joints were hurting due to the rain. Gaming personally went all the way to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get some medicine for him from Dr. Baiju, then traveled through the night to deliver it back to him. What a good boy. Young man has such a good head on his shoulders. How can anyone not love him? Actually, I mean, there is his dad, but well, ask anyone else. And... So what you're telling me is Uncle we're, we're going to square up with his father. For this delivery right now. So I'm down. Think, Should I go ahead and deliver it instead? Uh, it feels like we've troubled you enough already. I'm down it's to square up with his dad. Though. It could be for a kid. I'm sure the sender wants it delivered before Lantern Ray. Sweet little boy. Oh, uh, by the way, here, have some tea. Refreshing aroma and lingering aftertaste of the Sunglo tea invigorates All your right, spirit, then. I think is what Deliver that said. It if you want to. Ooh, are you free in two days? How about we grab some dim sum from Shinya Kiosk? My treat, and don't even think about trying to pay. Why is he so generous? Oh, thank you, generous of you. He's always uh, trying to pay for people. It. Just think of this as a thank you for all your help. Besides, the thing between me and my family, it's a long story. It might take some time to tell. Sounds good. Paima never says no to free food. See you at Shinya Kiosk, all right, then. then I'm off. See you in two days. Oh, and Paimon, make sure not to eat too much before then. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is he underestimating Paimon? <laughs> She's just gonna have to show him how much she can really eat. Halloween. <laughs> Is Gaming's family situation really that complicated? He has such a happy-go-lucky personality. Plus, he's an enthusiastic and diligent worker. It's hard to imagine a guy like that being troubled by much. Hmm. How should I put it? Isn't Gaming just going to tell us to himself? Tell you himself? You don't need an old man mm. like me to add my two cents. You seem to be around the same age, so Mama. you might have a lot in common. I'm actually 500 years Perhaps old. Perhaps you could help him talk things through. Consider it a favor to me. I'll try. If you have the time, maybe you can make a little flag for us to wave about. <laughs> yep. I can say, we provide aid in spades. Couldn't hurt to advertise our services, right? Let's not well, say we did. I can certainly arrange that. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Wait, seriously? I'm almost just joking. But <laughs> if she's going to get us something, she'd much rather have winter melon cake instead. <laughs> yeah, it seems like Gaming really has rubbed off on you. Cute. Would you like some more tea? I think there's some left. No, thanks. We came all this way and still haven't gotten a chance to look around the wharf. Okay. We should see the kinds of kites they got. Maybe they'll have ones you can't find in Liyue Harbor. It's not a bad idea. All right, then. Please do let me know if you'd like more tea. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. 
Thank you. That's sweet. He's very nice. He's very, very, very nice. Okay, okay. Let's uh, go walk around Yulong Wharf. I like the vibe of the wharf a lot. Oh, hey, Shanyun. The way you speak. One might have presumed you were displeased to be in one's presence. Greetings, Shanyun. Let's call her Shanyun instead of Cloud Retainer. Take note, Paimon. You could learn a thing or two about how to oh, respect your elders. Oh, thank you, John. Ugh, starting on the elder stuff already, huh? <laughs> Shouldn't you be back in your cave tinkering away at some kite-related thingamabob or something? What brings you out here? You're probably right, K-Tom. It's pretty though. Nice. And what of it? The Chishing's decision to integrate Fontanian technology into said kite flying competition is of no consequence to oneself. Did you expect one to willfully compete against the whimsical trends of worldly sentiment, or perhaps even fall to petty sulking over such? Um, it's not that we think those things exactly. That's just what Mountain Shaper and Moon Carver told us, or Tia something. Paimon <laughs> oh. can't be bothered to remember what their aliases were called. Anyway, they went to Liyue Harbor to look for you. They even asked us to pass along their regards if we ran into you. Oh, huh. She seems Tianyin? surprised. True uncertainty, yeah. Huh. Did she forget about them? <sighs> really, Em? Oh, it appears time has quite flown since one's arrival in Liyue Harbor. How could one have forgotten about those two old fossils? Damn, Gigi, she actually <sighs> forgot. One shall have to bring them back some divine herbs to atone for this slight. Nay, given that one has ventured all this way to Yilong Wharf, tea would be more advisable. A great thought has illuminated one's mind once again. I like that one illuminated one's that mind. Certain purchases have yet to be made. Perhaps you two could wait here whilst one performs this task. It'll be but a moment. Okay. Huh? Wait here? You really just gonna ditch us here to watch your step? Oh, mm -hmm. that woman really just does whatever she wants. I mean, as she should, to be honest. Uh, let me go see what she's up to. I'll leave this stuff watching hey, to you. Not you too, traveler. Oh, all this time on ditching is super not appreciated. <laughs> uh, just come back soon, okay? Paimon, Paimon doesn't want anyone to try and steal this stuff. Welcome. Please have a look around. We only sell teas of the finest quality, sourced directly from Chaoying Village. Might I recommend the Songlo variety? It's one of our specialties. Now, that sounds promising. One will bring some back for those old fossils, and all will be well. Cute. Two boxes will Mizurin, be... Mizurin, thank you for the follow. Welcome Wonderful. in. Wonderful. By the way, we're actually running a special Lantern Rite promotion. Buy three boxes, get 10% off. Four boxes will net you 20% off. Hmm. 20% off four boxes. This merchant strikes a fair bargain. One might as well give some to Morax and Ping, too. I love then her. Then four shall suffice. Hmm, I see. Are you intending to give these as gifts? If so, perhaps I can interest you in these exquisite gift sets. Buy ten, get half off. Yeah! <laughs> Look at the magnificent design. And the red ribbon gives quite the festive flair, don't you think? Such a gift would be sure to impress any lucky friend or family. She's actually getting so baited. Hmm. Ten boxes. Seems rather excessive. But if one factors in the conqueror of demons and one's disciples, hmm. Ten, a nice round number, don't you think? Of course you do. I'll even shave a little extra. She would be a will. That is agreeable. One will, um, I will have these boxed up then. Of oh, course, of she course. said I. I. Oh. I see you have quite the eye for fine items, mademoiselle. Oh, Perhaps I don't like some this. Some of my wares might also be of interest to you. I don't like this. Uh oh, they're swindling her. I'm a toy merchant from Fontaine. You'll get nothing Unless? but the finest and most intricate clockwork toys Mora can buy here. Each one sure to be a source of endless amusement. I want her to cook him. Hmm. 
Perhaps you could enlighten me, then. When should said amusement be derived? Well, uh, that is, of course, best understood by playing with them yourself. Mm -hmm. If you could wait just a moment, I can bring one out <laughs> um... and give you a demonstration. <laughs> also, don't think for the two years! Wait, hold on. It, there is no need for that. Run away, girly. You need to run away from whatever the fuck is happening right now. Dude, this is crazy. They're trying to get her ass. But she's she's becoming smart. Uh, mademoiselle. Give me your newest and finest model. And be Never sure mind. to package it securely. Ah, oh, of course. Here you go. The instruction manual is... I can do without. Thank you. Oh, many watchful eyes surround this place. If one were to be Oh, she actually wanted it. A mechanical toy such as this. A child's plaything no less. Oh, she actually wanted it. There is no harm in bringing it back to study in secret. Mhm. Mm she is really easy of a sell, that's true. Oh, let's go, Del. Enjoy your weekend then. Should head back before Shanya notices. Yeah, enjoy your weekend, though, Del. You deserve a break for real. Oh, Shenyun, did your shopping go smoothly? Oh, shop she did. Naturally, one may not delight in social interactions, but that does not mean one lacks in faculties. Seems like Shenyun is easily swayed into buying things. That box looks fit to burst already. And you too? Are you not here to purchase things? We just haven't had time yet. It doesn't look like there are any kite spells around Elong Wharf, but it does look like there are lots of goods from Fontaine. Bring in the Fontaine you are characters. Also to participate in the kite flying competition, then. Also, one means to say you, along with all the other youths, one has been entreated to share one's kite making expertise, and indeed there was little one could do about such persistent supplication. One moment energetic and earnest, and dejected the next. One had no choice but to acquiesce to these requests. And thus, one will be organizing a kite-making workshop to provide personal instruction in this art form. Oh, who will be participating then? Shuyu, Shenhe, Ganyu, and Yayo. Wow, that's quite a few people. Also, this is all pretty well, Xinyun, but it's not like you have to make your own kite to participate in the competition. You can't just buy one ready-made and call it a day. Ha! Huh. You speak of those equipped with the mechanical lifting device, do you not? <sighs> tis nothing but a crude piece of mortal machinery. The mechanism that one has developed was the fruit of millennia, of meticulous study. Let us not speak of the source of the mechanism's power, but rather its structure. Mm. It is composed of materials as light as bamboo and as strong as iron. This composition grants it the lightness of weight to ascend into the sky and the durability to follow the wind for many a mile. It is built with a series of intersecting rods that... <sighs> Never mind. It is unlikely the two of you will understand. Thank you for stopping, girly. You were losing me. To explain. One is better off saving one's breath. It sure seems like you want to talk about it, though. Should so, talk about it with, um... Will you be attending the workshop or not? Somebody else. Huh? Wait, you've been trying to invite us this entire time? <laughs> seems interesting. All right, then. No need to prepare the materials in any case. One has it all sorted. Okay. Arrive at Mount Outsong in two days. I shall be expecting you around midday. Are you leaving? Don't you want a guard to help you with that big box of yours? <laughs> Surely you jest. One goes as one pleases. For what reason would one need to rely on another? Yeah, let them know, girly. She is so funny. I wish my shit would float like that. What kind of invention is that? One calls it the floating toting device. I need me one of those, bro. I need one of those for sure. She seems pretty proud of that one. Look at her walk down the street. She seems so confident. But everyone around her is looking at her all funny. Paimon wonders 
Uh, never mind. But anyway, that box of hers seems to be full of those mechanical lifty thingamabobs. Uh, not that Paimon was peeking or anything. She just, uh, got a bit unsteady for a second and accidentally brushed the embroidery on top. And wouldn't you know it, all the stuff inside almost came bursting out. Paimon even went out of her way to keep it all together. Ah, uh, what will I do about you, Paimon? What I'm saying is that Xianyun sure does try hard to save face. Mm -hmm. What did she call it again? A crude piece of mortal machinery? Paimon bet she just can't wait to take it apart and see how it's made. Mm. Um, this sounds like something she would do. Totally. We should probably act like we didn't see anything, though. You know, in consideration of her feelings and all. Mm -hmm. After all, that is the propriety with which one should comport oneself yeah. when it comes to an elder. The way she makes herself sound like a grandma when she's imitating Cloud Retainer is crazy. <sighs> Welcome th to the Shinya kiosk. Wait, wait, I have the table of your reservation. Wait, hello? Did I click on her by accident? I meant to click on the door. Okay. You're here early. I just ordered. The food should be out in a second. I feel like I haven't seen Gaoming in a bajillion years. Let's all take a seat. Here, hand me your cups. Oh, thank you. I could go for some tea right now. I'm not even gonna lie. Wait, uh, uh, you weren't supposed to drink that, Paimon. That was for you to rinse your utensils. Oh, so it wasn't even tea. As you talk, piping hot dim sum dishes arrive at the table one after another. And just when you think that all the dishes have been delivered, the hostess brings over a generous bowl of seafood congee. Wow! Wait, this so is so cute! Food. This is so Did cute! Did you eat all this just for breakfast? <laughs> That's just how we do it where I'm from. Most of the time, though, I don't eat lunch after dim sum. Oh, that's good to hear. Paimon doesn't need to worry about holding back then. Eat, eat. If it's not enough, we can always order more. Oh, and there's tong soy coming as well. I don't usually have that in the morning, but, well, since everyone's here, I just had to order it. I love what him, you, guys. Is I actually love liking? him. Uh, want some more seafood kanji? <sighs> Let me refill your bowl. <laughs> that would be great, thanks. I'd be happy to do myself. No, we we accept his offer. Paimon's gonna take you up on that. Fill it up nice and full. <laughs> Everyone picks up their chopsticks and begins to dig in. Each dish tastes exquisite and is uniquely flavorful. You slowly start to relax as you enjoy pleasant conversation over a satisfying meal. This goes on until even Paimon can't eat another bite. <sighs> so full. That meal was so satisfying, it even gave Paimon some extra brain juice. Oh, listen, listen. Paimon's figured it out. Figured what out? Let's think about this for a second, Gumming. You invited us to this awesome restaurant and ordered a whole table full of expensive dim sum just for the three of us. Well, you must be hiding the fact that you're some young master from a rich family. Huh? That would explain why you try to keep your friends and family away from each other. <laughs> Are you confusing me with Xingqiu? He's so cute, I can't. Huh? You sure know a lot of people. Hmm. Well, when you're on the road as much as I am, you hear all sorts of rumors. Sometimes they're true, sometimes they're not. What it comes down to is being able to tell the difference. More often than not, that means knocking on some doors to find out for yourself. Oh, you truly are a man of many talents, young Master Gaming. Young Master okay, Gaming. Okay. Enough with the teasing. <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, Paimon, but you're wrong about my family situation. What? Oh, Paimon thought she was onto something there. My dad is just an ordinary tea merchant. Small scale stuff, you know? It wouldn't even make sense to mention his business in the same breath as the Feiyun Commerce Guild. My dad. He always wanted me to inherit the family business, to be a merchant like him. But that's just not who I am. It's not who I ever wanted to be. Valid. 
Gao Ming always seems so happy and carefree. This is the most serious I've ever seen him. The topic must be very important to him. Talk to him about it? You know, about your interests and aspirations and stuff. Of course I have. I, I told him I wanted to be a wushou dancer. That I wanted all of Tavat to see what I could do. Oh, According baby. to my dad, though, that wasn't a real job. Just a child's pipe dream. Wow, this is so oh, real. Terrible. I'm sure he thought I would come around eventually, but wushou dancing has always been the only thing I wanted to do. One day, he tried to get me to visit some other tea merchants to start building the right relationships, but I refused to go. We got into a huge fight. We we were this close to throwing hands. In the throwing end, hands. I was so angry that I I ran away from home. I haven't been back since. Uh, don't get on my case just yet, okay? It's not like I think I'm completely without fault. No. I know that it wasn't the right way to go about things. But my dad's stubborn. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, it just went in one ear and out the other. There was no changing his mind. Baby. I knew talking would only get me so far, but if I made it big and leave you a harbor... The results could speak for themselves. Coming. Wow. He does sure deserve the world. How that's going. Wusho dancing's just not that big in Liyue Harbor. Time to make it in big, past, buddy. I would go door to door from store to store. Asking Never mind. if they'd be interested in hiring tried. a performer. Most times, I wound up eating nothing but humble pie. <laughs> and you can't just rely on dreams to put food on the table, right? So I found a job as a guard to make some money. And now I have enough to get by and then some. Still, mm. change takes time. Gotta take it slow, you know? Okay, enough of all that serious talk. Our tea's getting cold. Ooh, let's do something fun this afternoon. What do you say, huh? I'll organize. Actually, we kinda already have plans this afternoon. We, we do? That we would go to our kite oh, workshop. right, 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 right. Dang. I low-key oh. forgot, like, half the stuff. Are you interested in kite making, Gami? Oh, no. It's just that I happen to know Auntie Shenyun. <laughs> Auntie Shenyun. Auntie has no way to address a mighty and illuminated adeptus. Let's not. Let's not go there. Her a bit. Oh, I know that she's an adeptus. I met her during oh. delivery once. But hasn't she been in the city lately? She's even tried, with some limited success, to change her terms of self-address or something like that. Oh. She came to see me a few days ago to ask about luminescent dyes. Oh, wait a second. She doesn't plan on putting those on a kite, does she? Is that not something you can do? It's one thing to use it on cloth, but applying it to paper is another matter entirely. Why couldn't she tell me what she wanted them for? Yeah, she does seem to have trouble with that sometimes. It would be such a shame if everyone worked so hard on their kites only for them to get ruined in the end. Okay, I'll go with you. If Auntie Xianyun wants to use those dyes in a kite, the formula will need to be changed. Mm. Great, okay. the more the merrier. Nah, literally everybody is adopting Gao Ming for real. As we should though, he's such a sweetie. I'm not sure if like there is gonna be some character development with his dad in this uh, part of the Lantern Ray quest, but I hope that there is. Dang, I feel like it's been a while since I've heard this music, even though I was literally here last week for Shanyun's story quest. Hi, Yo Yo. Dale, thank you for the lurk. What? This girl like, actually do just be sleeping while standing up. It's crazy. Friends. She needs some rest. <sighs> Good morning. Uh, on you. Oh, I have some mint oil. Perhaps we should try that. That would definitely work. A guest at Wan Min Restaurant recommended it to me. I've tried it. Its stimulative effects are much stronger than what can be achieved from chewing on mint leaves alone. <sighs> You know what that makes me want? Mint chocolate chip ice cream. Hi, Philip. Welcome in. Oh, she went right back to sleep. Wake up! Girl. <laughs> Girl, wake up. Your friends are here. 
Apologies in advance. Is she gonna smack the shit out of her? Wait, oh. Shenha? Not there! Not the horns! You see Shenha take out a small green bottle, extract some minty smelling liquid, and apply it to Ganyu's horns. Yaya and Paimon look on in shock, mouths agape, but cannot stop her in time. <coughs> oh. See? It worked. She's awake. Wow, look at the blurring effect Are in the background, okay, guys. Ganyu? Do you need some water? Or or maybe something to eat? I I'm fine. I just feel chilly all over. Girl, you're overworked. Go to bed. <laughs> huh. Was it that effective? Chilly, huh? Mm, master always says a cool head leads to a calm heart. So does this mean that heat's what we need to help you, Ganyu? Uh, Pilot doesn't think that's what the expression means exactly. Huh. I... I feel a bit better now. Mm. Was I asleep? Must have been around the time I usually take my midday nap. Did you not I am not like night? Ganyu, guys. Her work ethic is much better than mine. Hmm. Perhaps you should come work at Wanmin Restaurant with me. We get off at 10 on the dot every night without fail. I... I could never. I'm sorry. I seem to have missed your name. You are... <laughs> me? My name is Gaming. I work as a guard for the Secure Transport Agency. Gaming. The name sounds familiar. I believe I've heard your name mentioned around the Ministry of Civil Affairs. People tell me you're an extremely enthusiastic worker. And you are very generous with your help. And he's uh, a sweetie. Well, you know me. <laughs> or, uh, I guess you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> My name is Ganyu. This is Shenha. And this is Yao Yao. Yao Yao is so small next to Shenha. Oh, you must be here for Auntie Shenyun's kite making workshop, right? Yes. I have neither made nor flown a kite before. As long as Master is willing to teach, I am willing to learn. Slay. Me too! I want to participate in the kite flying competition with my best friend! Yugwe? It's more meaningful if you make the kite yourself, right? Your best friend didn't Or Shang Ling? Wait, who's her best friend? Well, Chi Chi has been super busy oh. helping Dr. Bun I guess that makes sense. There was the art with them and give her a, huge a while back. Oh, oh I actually forgot about all of that. Wow, today. my brain. It's easy to cut yourself when working with bamboo, so I thought I should come prepared. Wow, you're really thoughtful. As for myself, I'm afraid I lack some of my companion's enthusiasm. I was originally planning to buy a ready-made kite and just enjoy the festive city atmosphere with everyone. Hmm. But she said, I don't want the lessons. out of her way to look after her juniors, wanting us to have the best there is. She always puts us before herself. Oh. It was so thoughtful of her to arrange this workshop, so I simply couldn't let such consideration go to waste. My motivation for being here might be a little different, yes, but I'm ready to put in just as much effort as everyone else. After her well, nap, we're valid. Shouldn't she be here by now? Who is it that speaks of oneself in such an ill-tempered Oh my tone? god, I shoo oh, you. Come on, you clearly heard Paimon. Master stopped to buy grilled tiger fish to share with everyone. Come get it while it's still warm. Wow, oh, how I'm sweet. Sorry, Miss Illuminated Bird. Paimon always knew you were the smartest, coolest, and prettiest adeptus. Someone as wonderful as you is sure to have brought enough for Paimon as well. Right? Okay, Paimon. <laughs> <laughs> the hump is crazy. Cloud Retainer sets down her bags while Shuyu hands out the grilled fish. As everyone begins to talk, lively conversation fills the usually tranquil environment of Mount Outsong. <sighs> so delicious. Paimon's life is complete. Hmm. It appears that we've ended up with quite a few participants indeed. Go ahead and divide yourselves into small groups. Wait, don't we need to tell her about the, the thing materials first? Are over here. The regular dyes and luminescent ones have been clearly marked. Use them as you see fit. As for how to make the kite, one assumes you all made sure to listen to the instructions one provided while we were eating. Yes? 
Are there any questions? Paimon may have focused a little too hard on the eating and less on the listening. I'll be the one making it anyway. You can just help Paimon out. Knew she could count on you, yeah, 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 girly One pop. will wait under this tree and avail oneself of the cool air while one digests. Do not hesitate to seek one's company if you have any trouble, questions, or simply want to chat. The simply want to chat well, is so cute. To get started, why don't we go see what the others are up to? Okay, check on how construction is going. We talk to Gaming first. Wait, are they like super spread out? Or am I just blind? Oh yeah, I am fucking blind. <laughs> so girly pop, honestly, bro. <sighs> Okay, okay. Let's uh let's talk let's see what Yao Yao and Chanyun are talking about first, I think. <laughs> Auntie Cloud Retainer, look! Am I doing it right? Hmm, very good. Your frame is nice and sturdy. This design, is it a finch? <laughs> yep. <laughs> wow, cute. One is looking forward to seeing your finished product. What Another daughter for Shanyun. I haven't decided yet. If I make it blue, it'll be more like my friend. But if I make it gold, it'll be more like me. She's if so freaking cute. If you are asking opinion, one would advise choosing gold. When giving a gift, the key consideration is the recipient's feelings, is it not? One imagines your friend would much prefer a kite that reminds them of you. Oh, hey, I never told you the kite was for Chi-Chi. How did you know? With age comes wisdom, child. One simply has a way of knowing things. She's actually so mom, oh, you guys. <laughs> She's Thanks, so Auntie mom. I'm gonna start painting it gold right now. Good. One will watch. You so cute, so I could cry. You're strangely unoccupied. One was under the impression that <laughs> one was supposed to be doing the relaxing. Is your kite finished? <laughs> Yo. We actually haven't started yet, but we're going to start. Uh, oh, but she literally now. does have an army of daughters, guys. It's crazy. I love her, though. Okay, coming. Hey, coming. Want to team up? Huh? I have to participate? I thought I'd be done for the day after adjusting the dye formula. You're that unenthused by kite making, huh? That doesn't mm, seem like. There's definitely a reason. No, it's not that. It's just. Uh, it would take too long to explain. I guess I'll just make one then. Hmm. What shape should we go with? How about a butterfly? The butterfly symbolizes the desire for freedom. Perhaps that's also what, what Gaming is searching for. Is there a particular design you want? I want a swanee! Uh, that might be a little hard to pull off. True, but I still want to try. They're super cute. <laughs> they are super cute, <laughs> okay. to be fair. It's decided then. I agree with her. Wholeheartedly. Rag, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Does Sean even have any actual children, though? Not that I know of. Like, not off the top of my head. Ah, uh, man. Okay. Where the heck is Ganyu? Oh, she's over here with Shenha. Okay, okay. Um, Shenha, it would be great if you could refrain from putting things on my horns from now on. They're really quite sensitive. I see. My apologies. I shall remember that in the future. Thank you. No harm done. I'm actually Good. surprised she didn't know that. When they've known each other for so long. Well, wait, no. They haven't them? actually, right? No oil or anything this time. I've just always wondered what Miss Ganyu's horns feel like. Why am I not remembering anything, Please, you guys? I told you. Just call me Ganyu. I feel like my brain doesn't work anymore. All right. Just be gentle. Hmm. Firm to the touch with no discernible temperature. Oh, not unlike certain medicinal plants I've eaten before. Oh, still. Yeah, okay, Ganyu that's right, Black Soul. Like a cat whose whiskers have just been touched. Because at first I was like, oh yeah, they were both raised by stop. Cloud Retainer, but then I remembered that they didn't actually meet until later. Oh, I or like didn't know of each other until then later. Or my brain is not working. Time. Oh, no need. I'll just refrain from taking afternoon naps outdoors. <laughs> Bro, you almost got caught by a hilly trail before anyway, because of that. We should probably get started on our kite. 
It won't be long before Cloud Retainer comes to check on our progress. Perhaps... Perhaps we should just choose the most traditional style. Okay. Well, they seem to be getting along swimmingly. They're so cute together. Let's not disturb them. They're very sweet. We should get started on our kite now. Let's go. Okay. Couldn't remember which storylines happened in which event. I was trying to remember what happened last entry and every Leeway plotline came to mind. That's kind of real. It's It can be hard. I mean, it's been, what, like three and a half years of this game? I, I know I definitely jumble up a lot of things sometimes. It's, you know. Okay, let's go make our kite, guys. First, we have to decide on the shape. Hey, what are you laughing at? The obvious answer is to make a Paimon-shaped kite. Oh, that's not a completely crazy idea. If nothing else, a Paimon-shaped kite could at least make sure you never get lost on your travels and always find the tastiest food and funnest things to do wherever you go. Mm. But maybe we're not exercising enough artistic license. Ooh, we should exaggerate this a bit. How about this? The word Paimon means... The guardian angel of travelers. But is this really an exaggeration? Or is she trying to tell us something without even knowing? Miss guardian angel of travelers. You don't say shit like that to me without me getting suspicious. I am a conspiracy theorist when it comes to Genshin Impact. Hmm. Okay, anyway. You build the kite's frame according to Cloud Retainer's instructions. Both, Jaden. Honestly, probably both. Now, what expression should we give her? Since the kite is going to be flying super high in the sky. She should look pleased with herself. She should look afraid. She should look guilty about something. I want her to look pleased with herself because she's going to be flying in the air. Ooh, like this? What if it's the truth? It could be. They keep comparing Paimon to a kite, especially in Fontaine. Right, but didn't they call her a balloon and with the melazines or whatever? Or am I mixing that up with something else? Why are we choosing the same choices? Because it's the right choice. Yep, that's the one. Let's just do that. Let's make it happen. Lumian's faces are always so sweet, I swear. Now we just have to attach the string, right? All right. Gather around, everyone. I want to see what all the faces look oh, like. Shinyan's calling us! It probably does look different. Just like uh, the Albedo painting, I'm assuming. Hmm. Let one take a look. Oh, this is so cute. I made a swallow. It's so pretty. This is really yeah. cute. The coloring makes it look a lot like master. Let me hide my and face so you guys can see Gaming over here. Like that, it might even be a spitting image. Uh, if you look closely, there cute. are a few spots where the colors go outside the lines. Did you doze off while painting it, Ganyu? I did the painting. <laughs> I stared at the paper for quite some time, but I simply could not recall the coloring of any bird. <laughs> Except Master. Or should I say that I'm too familiar with her crane form? Even when she stands before us in human form, all I can see is blue and white. Hmm. That's valid, Dark. Yeah, I wish they would too. Oh. Well, now that you mention it, Paimon can see it too! Exactly. So I simply closed my eyes and painted from I memory. mean, that's pretty sick, though, no? No way. You, you can paint with your eyes closed? Wow. The disciples of Adepti really are something. You are most filial, Shen He. One is flattered by the likeness. This is so cute. Nemesis, Swami welcome the in. Swami and Shu you made looks very majestic. Yeah, this is and good, Shu right? even more impressive as it soars through the sky. I love it. Eyes and ears glow in the dark. So you're sure to see it at night. Well, that's cool. Your golden finch is cute too, Yao Yao. It's absolutely adorable. 
It's all thanks to Auntie Cloud Retainer's guidance. What about your kite, Traveler? <laughs> Let me see it, please. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> it's so good. It's, it's actually so good. There's a striking resemblance to that of its namesake. I love it. It makes her look like she's already won the competition. <laughs> it's cute. Yeah, it is cute. Alright, let's see Shan Yun's. Is I wanna see Shan Yun's. The Jade Chamber? Oh. Ningwa? Oh. As a gentle breeze brushes past, the Jade Chamber drifts towards everyone's feet. Oh. Who dares attempt such a flagrant display of impropriety by releasing a kite into one's territory without one's permission? Yeah, your choice does make a difference, oh, which I think is cool. So by making use of this? I want to see what everybody else's looks like. Machinery. Oh, one simply must know who it is that possesses such impertinence. <laughs> the instant change. Okay, Continue go get him, Shanyun. Continue the strings, everyone. One will be but a moment. One is fucking pissed! <laughs> Yo. Traveler, Paimon, could I trouble you to go after Cloud Retainer? What do you mean? She's taking care of business. Okay, right? I'm more worried about the person who released the kite. That's valid. There's wind up ahead. Looks like we can glide over. <laughs> the title of champion is mine. I love this. <laughs> Dang, we're going far as hell. Imagine if we had to run all the way over here, I would cry. Okay. Hmm. Oh. This spontaneous device of mechanical motion of course. is quite curious indeed. Now is hardly an opportune time for your musings. Someone among us was not sufficiently attentive, and now the kite has vanished. <laughs> Calm yourself. Do you have any recollection of its last location? One believes it drifted in the direction of Mount Outsong. And now she's going to come to beat your ass. Perhaps it is mere happenstance, but one feels a certain sense of dread at the thought. <laughs> your concern is misplaced. They are so NPC, surely. guys. Cloud it's really Retainer sad. is either in the city looking after her disciples or secluded in her abode attending to her research. She will not notice that kite. Well, surprise, surprise, here she comes. On the subject of said kite, however, one simply must remark on the genius of its windless lift technology. One cannot help but surmise that its ingenuity rivals that of Cloud Retainer's creations. Still, and now she's gonna come beat your ass. If Cloud Retainer were to hear you profess such a thing, no, surely he's eloquent, right? We can say farewell to any further use of the Supreme Cuisine Machine. One presumes that this kite belongs to you. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Regard the situation with which we are now confronted. This is all your fault. One's fault. One seems to recall that releasing the kite was no solid. Gentle problem. reminder that this is actually Say Aether's VA speaking right now. Surely you can think of something to appease her. Further explanation shall only fan the flames of her wrath. It would be better to stay silent and retire at the earliest opportunity. We can hardly avoid her forever. <laughs> She's just fucking waiting. Lantern light. But what about the Moon Chase Festival? Sooner or later, she will discover our true identity. <laughs> Bacon <sighs> GG. Hello? Go retrieve the Dude, kite. I wish Village Wolf... I mean, they Absolutely could still maybe not. someday. Who knows? You retrieve it. That is not our kite. Oh. So an adeptus such as oneself is mistaken then? Ah. Uh, you're an adeptus? Please forgive us for any impropriety. No fucking way. I truly possess no inkling of who could have released a kite into your esteemed domain. Pray, who could be responsible for such wanton behavior? Verily, verily, we were but delighting in the surrounding scenery. This locale is home to such exquisite... Uh, ah, mint! Well, and if that's all, then we'll just be on our way. We finally caught up. 
You sure do fly fast in your illuminated bird form, Tianyin. Moon Carver? Mountain Sheeper? Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Mama. Hi. Somebody. Yo, she. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> She say something wrong? It is of no consequence. Long has one seen through their disguises. One was simply curious as to how long they would keep up the act. <laughs> then you are not angry? Hmm. How could one feel anger at the sight of two old friends enjoying themselves? One is also well aware of how enticing actually these sweet. silly novelties can be. We were simply consumed by a fit of festive spirit. Seldom do we get the opportunity to partake in the delights of the times. However, we are far from being as adept as you in matters that require a deftness of hand. No worthy kite could be born of our own making. Thus, we could only take the convenient route, so to speak. Mm. Your prowess in mechanics is unparalleled, Cloud Retainer. You wield the wind and waves themselves. Your She's so OP, bro. Unmatched across the land. Of this, we are well aware. Have you guys seen the fan arts of uh, has guests to attend to. what they could look, to look like in human form? Time. They're really good. Traveler Paimon, <laughs> do try to keep up. Okay. We're leaving already. Oh, all this flying from place to place is wearing Paimon out. Okay, we're going back. Okay, let me talk to these guys before we go. It seems that one's concern was misplaced after all. Then, should we continue flying the kite? Yeah, go for it. A splendid suggestion, but it would be advisable to change locations. <laughs> Perhaps your mountain would suffice? It is more than spacious enough. A fine idea. A fine idea indeed. The your mountain thing is crazy. Uh, I'm guessing they just want me to teleport back this time instead of flying back. So I absorb this thing for the follow as well. Welcome in. Yeah, skyward, scatter. Guys, I'm thinking about putting the Monstat wings on her again instead. They're back. Hi. <laughs> the little wave is so cute. Paimon's going through it though. Paimon's oh my god. Uh, hi. Why are there only two of you left? After you left, Yao Yao and Shu Yu tired themselves out. Yeah, where's Gao Ming? Gao Ming offered to escort them home. Oh, I see. What a sweet boy. Before he left, he said something that I don't quite understand. Oh? What did he say? He said, A kite is always tied down no matter how far it flies mm. or how high it soars. Its tether prevents it from ever truly flying free. He looked quite dejected as he said what this. What a poor baby. Now that you mention I it, feel for him, for Bobby real. He did seem to have a rather strange attitude towards kites. Perhaps he sees himself reflected in them? A reflection of himself. Oh, if I were a kite, I would cherish that tether as a symbol of kinship and the bonds that tie us and... Shenha? <sighs> it may be Mama, an exceedingly down, slim and distant connection, but lose it, and you lose that which links you to home. Mm. If Gaming truly sees a kite as a reflection of himself... <sighs> then I fear I understand his words even less. Well, people often have different points of view depending on their mindset and experiences, right? It's actually quite normal. Just like some people can eat spicy food, but others won't go anywhere near it? Exactly. That's why tolerance and understanding are as important as they are. Uh, tolerance and understanding? What brought about this conversation? Did one miss something? We were just chatting. You don't have to butt in on every little thing, you know. What I mean, Paimon, we be doing that. Hmm. One was merely doing a bit of cooking. 
Night fast approaches. If you are otherwise unoccupied, one would entreat you to stay and eat before you depart. Oh, it's been so long since I've had the chance to enjoy your cooking, Cloud Retainer. Uh... Worry not. One has prepared a variety of meat and vegetable dishes. Mm. One is more than familiar with everyone's culinary proclivities. We'll take you up on your offer then. I called dibs on Paimon's portion. Hey, yeah. Let's see kill. that. It's not like the dim sum and grilled fish could keep her full the whole day, you know. Shenha, Ganyu, come with me. Whoa, what's with all the secrecy? You're not trying to Daughters play roll play. out. If you're ready to serve the food, we can help too. Bro, let them have their moment, Paimon. What the heck? You wait outside Claw Retainer's abode for a few mo moments. This is... <gasps> Cute! I didn't think they were going to show us the skins just now, you guys. I actually was not expecting that. Oh, I can feel the wind brushing against my legs. This is a bit embarrassing. Okay. Is the headpiece secure? I should have asked Cloud Retainer to check before I stepped outside. And she's slaying. Well, how do we look? Huh? She asked them just like that? <laughs> she is actually slaying. You look great. Oh, the meat is so cute. You look pretty cute, on you? <laughs> oh, how should Paimon put it? Uh, you both look so elegant and refined. Those outfits really suit you both. Given that one employed the services of the best tailor in all of Liyue, one would expect nothing less. I'm actually surprised she didn't make them herself. What colors have you been partial to lately, Shenhe and Ganyu? Lately? Why is Cloud Retainer suddenly asking about what colors we like? I like black. One is gratified to see one's disciple has inherited one's own tastes. <laughs> the color I think she can make clothes. I think they mentioned that earlier, the right? I've come to like, not to in this quest, but at an at a earlier time. And you, Ganyu? I favor blue and black. And the material is sufficiently comfortable, yes? Yes, very. I simply cannot thank you enough, Cloud Retainer. For this gift. And the kite, too. Thank you, Master. One is content, Cute. as long as you are pleased with the gift. One hopes these garments will see much use. You sit down and enjoy a table full of delicious food and pleasant company. Yeah, that's right. She made Shu Yu's outfit. Like your supreme cuisine machine is she could have met herself. Machine. That's actually true. This that's actually very true. Particularly good. The shell's deliciously crunchy, and the meat inside is so succulent and sweet. <laughs> Paimon can't stop eating. It's a good thing Gaming isn't here, or Paimon would have to duel him for the food. You know, with chopsticks. It would be a close match. He traveled all this way on account of the kite making workshop, and he spent the whole afternoon looking after Shuyu. One was hoping to treat him to a meal. Actually, Mom. <sighs> oh, well. One will just have to extend one's thanks in person. It's rare for someone to make such a good impression on you, Cloud Retainer. Mama. One has high standards. On. He appears to be a young man of much merit, and one is not the type who would see such potential squandered. It appears that he wishes to break free from the kite string that tethers him. Kite string? Huh, what strange metaphors you speak in, Shenhe. Ever since you returned from one mean restaurant, your turns of phrase render one at quite the loss. Where do we even begin? Oh, do you know about the conflict between Ga Ming and his dad, Xin Yun? One has only heard that the two are not on good terms. He ran away from home and... I want her to solve food. the issue. <laughs> I know what she shouldn't, but... <laughs> ran away, you say? Oh. Huh. One believes we would all benefit from a more thorough retelling. Start from the beginning. Oh, okay. Paimon just hopes he won't mind. 
Paimon tells Cloud Retainer everything she knows about Gaming's what? family situation. Okay, but like, how are you just gonna say that without this his permission, though? Lantern right fast approaches. We must make haste. As one was contacting various tailors around Liyue, one could not help but be reminded of Minogius. Hmm. He possessed a singular talent for clothing design. He had an exquisite eye, not just for fabric selection and color pairing, but Rest also in peace, for what accessories could best accentuate a garment's overall styling. At a gathering of Adepti, Bonanus once complained in secret to some of the ladies in attendance that the skirt Minogius made for her was too long and impractical, lamenting that it would only hinder her in battle. However, when one asked Minogius his opinion, he remarked that the train of the skirt would serve to enhance her adeptal countenance by exemplifying a certain elegance. Minogius was that type of person. When it came to topics relating to garments and accessories, not even Rex Lapis could best his stubbornness. Mm. And later... Uh, one seems to have strayed off topic. Maybe a little bit girly. One needs to say that Lantern Rite should be a day of reunion. It is a time to address problems before they turn into regrets. Hmm. Fate is fickle. The cruel reality of this world is that suffering and misfortune can befall any of us without design or reason. If there is a chance for young people to remain insulated from this reality, one should do one's utmost to make it so. That's nice and all, but... Do you have any ideas, Cloud Retainer? Hmm. Perhaps adeptal arts could be of use. Oh, no, no. She's gonna Mechanic beat the shit out of them both until they make up? <laughs> one fails to see its use in a situation such as this. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Combining our efforts is a fine idea indeed. Aha! One has an idea! How about this? Does that make sense to everyone? Uh, yeah, I'll pretend I heard it. Oh, Paimon really hopes this works. Hm. One's designs never fail. Now then, I counsel rest for all, and to make the necessary preparations. One shall see you in two days. Okay. And I'm guessing that's the end of the second part of the quest. There it is. Okay. So, Gaoming, family reunion, making up with his dad moment. I'm assuming. It's time to carry out the plan. Okay. Let's go find Gaoming. Hope everything goes well. Yeah, me too, bro. If we make him cry in a bad way, I'm going to be so pissed. All right, Leslo. Here we go. Paimon sees you've certainly gotten an early start this morning. Playing games already, are we? I love what playing games. Said? You're the one buying dim sum again? Oh, he looks sad. Guys, he looks sad. Or is hey, he smiling? No, oh, he's sad. Like that, it makes it sound like I'm always the one losing. Okay, no, he's fine. He's fine. Never mind. I was concerned uh, for nothing. Perfect. You're all here. Uh, there's an important commission I need your help with. Oh, okay. All right. I've got the time. Where are the goods? Oh, is this a setup? It must be. Oh, it's not just goods this time. I need you to escort a tea merchant and their wares from Chaoyun Village to Liyue Harbor. A very important client has requested to meet with him. Okay. Sure. Uh, what's this merchant's address? This is about to get messy. Here. This is about to get messy. Oh, thank you, Wuffle. No! Just don't give him, don't make that, that face, bro. This must be a very crucial, very pressing commission, right? Um, of course, the sooner you complete it, the better. I would advise you to depart as soon as possible. That's fine by me. <laughs> oh, stop! Right, um, don't work too hard now, Longjo. We'll set off then. Phoebe. Okay, here we go. Man, he's about to go through it a little bit. I can tell. Oh, wait, what the? It just, it just teleported me over. I wanted to go buy a kite. That's crazy. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what the hell, man? Um, okay, well, 
Can you remind me later? <laughs> Please, I'm begging You're you. You're quiet today, Gong <laughs> Oh, do you want Paimon to tell a story? Uh, we're almost there. I'll take a rain check on that. Oh, he sounds so sad. My Gaming is only C2, sadly. I would like C6, but sad times. Thank you, Wolfo. <gasps> Hi, Mamo! <laughs> Mamo in game, guys. He. <laughs> Is a C1? Hello. We're in this together I'm for a real. Tea merchant heading to Liyue Harbor. We're here to escort you. Uh... Yep. Talk. Dad? Bro, stop. <sighs> oh, so you're Gaming's father. It's nice to meet you. I don't know Just how I feel about this, this right now. Just to him. Trust Paimon, he's got this in the bag. Gaming is super good at what he does. I don't know Everyone how I feel about the this. The transport agency says as much. Even the Ministry of Civil Affairs has nothing but good things to say about him. Seems like you've made some sort of name for yourself at least. Baby. The the goods are all in order? Yes, they're all here. Then let's get going. Mm. <sighs> uh, a very important client has asked for you by name. You kind of have to come with us. Paimon doesn't know how we would explain ourselves if you just didn't show up. Plus, you'd be missing out on a huge money-making opportunity! I see. I suppose I will have to trouble you all to escort me, then. Let's go. Mm. Man, guys, this is tough. Poor Gao Ming. I know parent relationships can be hard. Wow, how funny is it that my dad came into chat on a day when we are doing a quest about Gao Ming's relationship with his dad? I must say, I have a W dad, okay? My dad is very supportive of my life choices, so I am thankful in that respect. We've been walking for so long. Is anyone tired? How about we stop and rest for a bit? Oh, there's fireworks set up. Uh, Gaming, don't you usually have some delicious snacks on you? Come on, bring them out so we can share them. Um, fine. Thank you. Mm. Uh, but the winter melon cake he gave us last time was so delicious. Mm. Have you ever tried it before, Mr. Ed? Uh, Paimon. Mm. He is really fun, Triple Moon. I agree. I love him. This place looks nice and open. Why don't you all rest here for a second? Join us? I'm not tired. I'll keep watch. He sounds so oh, sad. Wait. Just let him go. Okay, we'll just share amongst ourselves then. Did you know, Uncle Ip, that the flavor of these cakes changes depending on. Oh. Who goes there? Oh? It appears that one's movements were overly conspicuous. <laughs> Yo. Enough of your music. Focus. Focus on the matter at hand. <laughs> oh, come on. Present your exquisite <laughs> ornaments at once. This is not Wolf's Greystone. This is a Indeed. Black Cliff Greystone, right? Bring forth readily and without protest. Ah, uh, what do we do? Beat their ass! No, I actually love them, you guys. It what? It seems are acting alone. It won't be difficult to subdue them, but they might have something else waiting in store for Dad. The best way to keep him safe is... Leave this to me. I'll handle them. Traveler, oh, Gaming. Take my dad and the goods away from here. No, Gaming. It's too dangerous. This is what look I can do. Look at him. He looks so fierce. Oh, shoot. I was, too, I was too slow. He looked really, really fierce. A thorny foe indeed. Let us depart. And seek a target softer in blows and disposition. Uh, actually, uh -uh. Did not. Don't think I'm gonna let you off so easily. <gasps> oh, cloud away. retainer in the back. Let us away. Let us away. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah. He's a great fighter. 
Paimon's even seen him take down a dozen or so treasure hoarders all by himself! But coming, I... <sighs> if he had just stayed by my side and learned the family trait, he wouldn't have to put himself in such mm. dangerous situations. Hi, Dina, Hokkaman, and Sap, welcome as well. On? We'd best get away from here in case there are other bandits in the area waiting in ambush. Shut up, Adam. <laughs> All is going to plan. <laughs> is it really going to plan? Okay, we should be good to stop here. Is that Zhang Li? Oh no, what is he doing here? What is <laughs> fucking Zhang Li with a kite? A Hu Tao ghost kite? As quickly as you can. There are bandits in the area. Yo. <laughs> so happy, happy lantern, right? Bandits acting in broad daylight. Oh no, Zhang Li, please. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Yo. Ah, I see. It appears he speaks many people Paimon are catching cough. a chill as of late. If your throat is bothering you, Paimon, perhaps some tea and rest are in order. Uh, <laughs> nope, no need, no need. Paimon's fine. She just uh, had some cake stuck in her throat. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> he must have figured it all out by now as he's just playing dumb on purpose. If there are indeed bandits in the area, then we should inform the Millilith at once. <laughs> oh my god, Ruai, thank you for the follow. This dude is hella funny. <laughs> the guard that was escorting us is already on their tail. Oh? Well, if that's the case, such matters are best left to those with the necessary expertise. Wouldn't you agree? <sighs> I suppose you're right. If ordinary people like us got involved, we would only cause more trouble. Since we find ourselves otherwise unoccupied in this beautiful area, why don't we find a quiet place to relax while we wait for good This guy doesn't know that he's talking to the previous Geo Archon. That would be lovely. Crazy. Alright, let's go rest at a tea stall. Shall we? Gaming, the guard we mentioned, is his son. Gaming. The yeah, that's true, Dark. Somewhat familiar. Ah, Speak yes. his praises, Zhang Li. That is the name of the Usho dancer who has been performing around Liyue Harbor recently, is it not? Mm. Oh, Enjoy your pizza, Wuffle. Indeed. I cannot help but admire his skill. He truly encapsulates the spirit of the Suani. I love this. This Usho is actually what we needed after all. Usho well known in Liyue Harbor recently. However, although performers are seeing budding success, they have no doubt had to face many hurdles along the way. One's not so easily understood by spectators such as ourselves. If you ask me, what truly deserves admiration is perseverance in the face of adversity. That is a rare attribute indeed. Let him know, Zhang Li. Speaker truth exactly. Praise Gaming for his kind, selfless, and courageous disposition. To have a child so accomplished and upright. You must be a very proud parent indeed, Uncle Lip. I love this. Uncle? Uncle? Seems Wait a minute. Like Lee has decided to skip the formalities. Oh. Uh, well, he... <laughs> I love Zhang Li, bro. He's a hard worker. Yes. You should be sure to tell him you think that when he gets back. I... Your son is young yet. It's normal for someone his age to be a bit hot-headed. It's understandable to find talking about such things in person difficult. If there's a particular sentiment you wish to convey, perhaps we could pass it along for you. No, no. It wouldn't be right to ask that of you. <sighs> Zhongli kind of has an egghead, guys, don't this you think? This thing between us has festered for many years now. In truth, I'm thinking of bald, baldly right now. I'm not gonna lie. For us to talk through. Oh I've yes, Black Soul. Business for most Unfortunately, of I have. And I always hoped my child would do the same. 
Otherwise, how would he support himself? Over the past few years, I heard how well he was doing for himself as a guard. How his work was taking him to farther and farther off places. I also heard that he never gave yeah, up. Yeah, I realized that after less though. It made me happy. But I was also worried. Mm, that's understandable. When you're young, you can handle all that physically taxing work and manual labor. What young person isn't capable of making a living that way? My concern is what happens when you get old. Every time I get to thinking like that, I cannot help but be reinforced in the belief that I was right. That I was right not to give in. I often regret introducing him to wushou dancing as a kid. If I had known how things would turn out, I would have never taken him to see those performances mm. in the first place. That's sad. It is only natural for a parent to strive to send their child down the right path. No one would begrudge you that sentiment, Uncle Ip. You need not worry. You seem quite young, Mr. Zhang Li. Yet you speak <laughs> with such wisdom. Perhaps I have misjudged your age. <laughs> your words are too kind. Truth be told, one of my old friends has several grown daughters. <laughs> this makes it even funnier. Their future, however, <laughs> she prefers to let them find their own way. Mm. She's she more does a great job. Than I could ever be. I fear I lack such an open mind. Uh, oh, I meant to say earlier, there is no need to be so polite. Uh, feel free to call me by my name, Ipdak. Sure. Look at Louis. <laughs> so, do you also think I fret too much, Mr. Zhongli? <sighs> That's not exactly what I was hoping to convey. Only a fool would ask a parent not to worry about their child. But think of it this way. Raising a child is not unlike flying a kite. Hold mm. the string too tight, and it can no longer soar. As my friend once said, if your children are aiming for the stars, clipping their wings will only cause them to come crashing down. You need to let out the line for a kite to soar. Damn, guys. It seems I was too stuck in my ways. You need not reproach your heart for caring. You simply need to loosen your hold a little. Indeed, with such a big heart, why not allocate the time you usually spend worrying about Gamin? to the pursuit of other things, like going for a stroll, drinking tea, or taking in the scenery. You never know what surprises could be in store. Things can change in the blink of an eye. <laughs> the blink of an eye, you say? Do things change so quickly? Yeah, Children they do. Grow up in quite the same way, do they not? Day after day, year after year, sometimes in the blink of an eye. But always, when you least expect it. As a father, I'm sure you know that best. <laughs> yes, you can say that again. One second, Gaming was a kid. The next thing I knew, he was ready to fly the nest. Zhang Li certainly has a way with words. He does, yeah. Dad, Traveler, Paimon. Good, you're all here. Oh, and Mr. Zhong Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? He's like, what you're the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> A fated meeting indeed. We were just enjoying some pleasant conversation. Uh, <clears throat> is everything resolved? Well, you could say that. What does that mean? Traveler, Paimon, come with me. I need to talk to you. Hmm. He's gonna be like, why the fuck uh -huh. were <laughs> Moon Shaper or uh -huh. Mountain Carver and Moon Shaper coming after us like that? I'll come right out and say it. Those two bandits, you sent them, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> uh, so that's how we're starting off? 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, can't look me in the eye, huh? Guess I'm right then. Okay, but how did you know? Rune Carver, Mountain Shaper, yes. At oh my first, god, I fucking mixed them up. A bit stilted. I actually but can't even I speak. Close, it was obvious that they possessed great skills. I was right on their tail, and it should have taken only a few steps to catch up to them, yet somehow I was never able to close that distance. People with that level of skill would have gone about things differently from the start, like sneaking up on us while we were distracted. Unless, of course, their real motive was to lure me away from the group all along. Wow, you're pretty quick on the uptake. That's our I've a lot of experience. I've dealt with many a ruthless bandit in my time, but I've never seen ones like them. In the end, I told them they would make good guards if they ever wanted to get back on the straight and narrow, and that they could <laughs> hang out with me and leave you a harbor anytime. Uh, you ever consider you might be a little too good at making friends? <laughs> yep. I'm guessing you guys were trying to help resolve things between my dad and me. Mm, yeah. <sighs> I appreciate it, I, I really do. But this conflict between us has been going on for a long time. Even if those two were real bandits and... I was able to subdue them and show them what I was capable of. It, it wouldn't change anything. You've seen the way he talks to me. It's hmm. not like that at all. Your dad really cares about you. You should see the way he talks about you when you're not around. Zhang Li was talking things through with him, and he nearly agreed to let it go. <sighs> you don't believe us? He looks he so won't let like it go. he can defeated. say as much as he wants to other people, but he won't talk to me. I'm certain of it. And you? Will you talk to him? You told us you wanted to prove yourself to your dad. Why don't you tell him about all the hard work you've done these past few years? Will that even do anything? I'm not sure talking is enough. You won't know unless you try. Just like how you won't know if something is delicious unless you taste it. Listen to us. It's time to put these people's skills to good use. You can make friends with anyone, so why not your dad? Good luck, we'll be rooting for you. <laughs> mm. I'll do my best. <laughs> you are very knowledgeable, Mr. Zhongli. I'm impressed. Despite my being in the tea industry for several decades, it seems, I still have much to learn about the art of tea tasting. Hmm. You flatter me. It was I know, right, Triple Moon? Humble musings. How much tea have you drank since we've been gone? It's not like it was alcohol. <laughs> Ip Doc and I have found many a common interest. Our friendship, much like a cup of tea, seems to grow stronger the longer it has to steep. <laughs> well <laughs> said, Mr. Zhongli. <laughs> Gaming, Mr. Zhongli is very knowledgeable. You should take the opportunity to learn from people like him when you're in the city. Huh? Oh, uh, of course. Ahem. <clears throat> Zhang Li? I have very much enjoyed our conversation, Ipdok. But I, unfortunately, have some unfinished funeral parlor business to attend. Like flying the kite. <laughs> oh, I, I hope I didn't keep you. My apologies for taking up so much of your time, Mr. Zhongli. No need to stay on my account. When you're less busy, let's find a time to meet. I'll treat you to dim sum. That's cute. It would be an honor. Like, I actually think their relationship, like this, that's like built itself have, over tea is very cute. You two have a nice chat, all right? Hmm. Yeah, they're tea besties. They gossip over tea. Okay. Wait, we're not gonna... Oh, wait. <gasps> oh, look at him! Okay, wait. Should we sit? Uh, sure. Okay. Let's say bye to Zhongli. Thanks for helping us talk things through with Uncle Ip. Good thing you were able to pick up on what we were putting down. I have been around the both of you for some time now. You could say I have a certain level of expertise in that regard. As for my role in the conversation, think nothing of it. I hardly did anything noteworthy. <laughs> you never change, do you? No. Uh, why did you have us walk all this way? Paimon thought we just had to go far enough to be out of earshot. A friend approaches. Oh? Hello. 
<laughs> You're here too? I'm sorry, why is that low-key funny? A friend approaches. Hello! <laughs> you guys know that. He was like, hi, it's like the little kid. That's Xiao in that moment. Wait, hold on, let me, I have to find it, bro. This shit's mad funny. I've been here the whole time. This Could dude's just been, light. okay. Could that elusive director who be coming to Wangshu Inn once again? What I is she him. doing here? Uh, I suppose it matters not. Given her relationship with Rex, well, Zhang Li. I might as well go pay my respects. Dude, ca wait, calling him Rex is crazy. Like, I like it. <sighs> it's Look you. At him. I thought you were Director Who. Ah, your arrival is most fortuitous. Do you want to try out this new gadget? Oh my god, father son moment. The addition of the power source makes the takeoff more stable. It's just that. He seems quite immersed in the study of this device. I fear it's almost too stable. It completely negates the pleasure of seeing one's kite sway with the wind. Mm. It's a bit of a shame. In truth, I'm here because Director Hu dispatched me to purchase some items in preparation for Lantern Rite. I see. Much like she does every year. Much like she'll do next year, I would imagine. Hmm. Uh. Am I wrong? Or has she once again sent you out to buy, what is it, sesame oil or something? <laughs> While we're on the subject, I do wonder why she is so obsessed with using sesame oil. Sesame oil is good. Vegetable dishes for lantern rice. A recommendation from Shang Ling, perhaps. What do you think, Xiao? I've only met Director Hu a few times. I'm hardly the best person to ask. Ah, and is that not a sign that you should visit Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor more often? It wouldn't hurt to grace the <sighs> parlor with your presence now and again, when you are otherwise unoccupied. Cute. This one here is a traditional kite, one without any equipped mechanical device. Director Hu tasked me with studying the differences between the two to determine which one is of greater merit. Many hands. The fact that this work. is what she wanted him to do for Perhaps the day. You could I love test it. Out the other kite for me. Oh my god, they're gonna fly kites together! Right. Stop! It's actually cute. Look at them. I have made my comparisons. If speed is what you're after, the mechanical kite is the better choice. Wonderful. I shall pass that information along to Director Hu. I'll leave these two kites with you. Perhaps you can find a few friends with which to partake in the activity. You might find it to be an enjoyable use of your time. <laughs> oh, uh, wait. Who enjoys kite flying? Well, I would imagine someone of your talent and wisdom is more than capable of finding out. You were testing out the kites for Hu Tao and even roped Xiao into doing it for you? Paimon didn't know That's what I'm saying, Les, though. Was, uh, awkward. I would hardly say I roped Xiao into anything. I simply sought the help of a friend. Besides, we did the testing together. Uh, seems like our pool of competitors is growing. This competition, or the competition is not the important thing right now. Do you like yeah, it's not really that important. I suppose I neither like nor dislike it. Although, watching a kite gradually ascend into the sky does bring me a certain peace of mind. Perhaps they're a bit like shell lanterns in that way. Hmm. Kite flying is also a pleasant form of relaxation. Have you ever thought about making a kite shell? Cloud Retainer taught us how. We can teach you if you want. There's no need. Minogius was the only Yaksha among us who had an interest in matters of ornamentation and design. When Lantern Rite is over, come find me near Pervasi's temple if you have the time. Sure. Mm. Is it going to tell us to do that, or am I just going to have to remember to do that? Who of our findings. How has she been, by the way? Be sure to say hi to her for us. The last time I spoke to her, she mentioned that she would be visiting Chaoying Village in a few days. 
If you have the time, okay, we'll perhaps remember. you could also make the trip. If you happen to run into her, you can pass along your regards in person. I'll keep okay. in mind. Take care, Zhang Li. See you later. See Bye, you Zhang next Li. time. Bye. Uh, Chat will uh, remember exactly. Coming. Uh, uh, um. Uh, you can go first. I don't have anything to say. Huh? Then I'll go. I still don't want to leave Liyue Harbor. Oh. I can't say I support that decision, but... <sighs> hey, let me finish before you get all worked up. <sighs> sit, Shinha, sit. You must be tired from your journey. Shall I pour you a cup of tea? Or would you prefer something else to drink? Yo! <laughs> no need. I'm not tired. They're gone, Master. Perfect. The time is nigh for us to make an appearance. Do you remember the plan one recounted to you? Yes, Master. We aim to That's give them cute. a demonstration um... of familial love. So okay, they're gonna show them how it's done. All right. What are Auntie Xianyun and Shanha doing here? Just how many people are involved in this scheme? I suppose all I can do is just take a seat and see what happens. Perfect. I just so happened to have bought some Songlo tea recently. It's quite the delectable variety. Or it would be if one has not been forced to drink it every day in the hopes of whittling down one's considerable stash. One has more than had one's fill already. Bruh. <laughs> Forget it. Such thoughts detract from the present need to keep up the conversation. Has work been busy during the holiday season? Do you need my help with anything? Drunk guests can sometimes cause trouble. But I deal with them as you taught me. By pinning their heads against the table. Uh, <laughs> are Auntie Xianyun and Shanha serious right now? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh dear. One is busy orchestrating this act. One seems to have forgotten about Shanha's various eccentricities. I fucking can't. What, what, uh, what I meant to ask was. Have you made any new friends? We live so far from each other. It would be a great comfort to me to know you were surrounded by good companions. Huh. You already know of my past circumstances. Huh. Recently, I've been conversing with Guoba in the kitchen at night. Guoba can't talk, but his companion This guy's looking at her like, this bitch is oh, fucking crazy. Child. Her one friend can't even talk. I guess maybe Gaming is not. Look at Gaming! Perhaps I've been too hard on him. Aww. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Do you have any plans for today, Shen He? How about we do something fun? That sounds about right. Take her to do something fun, and perhaps she'll loosen up a bit. Like we used to do when we would carry stones up and down the mountain from <laughs> dawn until dusk, picking herbs to eat for dinner along the way. <laughs> if that is what you ask of me, then that is what I Look shall at do. her face! No, we need to pause! No! <laughs> no, I wanted to pause on her face! I wanted to pause on Shanyan's face. She's so fucking concerned. I wasn't fast enough, bro. He's about to choke on his tea after hearing all this, for real. Dad, uh, here, have some tea. Or, or no, wait, let's not have any just yet. <coughs> yeah. oh, I simply can't listen to that <laughs> any longer. Coming. I'd like to finish what I was trying to say before. Okay. I don't support your decision to stay in Liyue Harbor, because living there is too hard on you. If you come home, there will be people to help you. I'm not saying we have to live under the same roof. I know our personalities are too similar to avoid butting heads. 
But you'll have your entire family around you. Mm. Your aunts, uncles, they'll all do whatever they can to help. You could get a less taxing job, and we could... We could grab dim sum together from time to time. Aww. Huh. I didn't know dim sum was such an important affair, Master. <laughs> Just think about it. Okay? You don't have to decide now. Dad really has changed a lot. He would never have said these things to me before. But I... Aww. Thank you, Dad. Been long enough, don't you think? Oh, I'm unsure hopes they've made up by now. Oh, they're drinking tea in silence. That's mm. not a good sign. Did Xianyan's plan not work after all? Uh, hey you two! Paimon's sorry we were gone for so long. We got to chatting with some friends and didn't realize how much time had passed. Perfect timing, actually. We seem to be just about done here. Yep, uh, let's go. I'll get the bags. Mogami. <sighs> oh my goodness, hello! <laughs> I didn't even realize as that was all happening in the midst of that, that Gaming's father just talked about how he's getting taller and I kind of want to cry about it. Let's continue. Oh wait. Literally right at the end of the, the dialogue. Okay, okay, wait. Can we talk to them really quick? Because... Master, did I say something wrong earlier? No, absolutely I tried not. I to go along with your questions. But when I saw how you and that man reacted, I started to wonder... She's gaining self-awareness. Not at all. <laughs> Certain unforeseen variables may have presented themselves along the way. But the outcome proved favorable. The plan was a success. Then I helped? Naturally. <laughs> Yo, your she is very sweet. spirit is one of your greatest strengths, Shen He. You need not change who you are. See, like, I love that about Shan Yun. I really, really love that about Shan Yun. She doesn't try to change, like, the personalities of her, her daughters, which I think is great. Very cute. Okay. Wait, can I buy the kite now? Before I forget, since we're back over here? It's here, right? I remember it on my own. Stephanie is the goat, true. She is such a mother. She's a mother to every single Genshin character at this point, I feel like. Wait, these are really pretty. Wait, so can you put these in the, uh, you can view it in the creation screen? I think I like the butterfly one the most, you guys. If you had to pick which one you liked the most out of these four, which one would you pick? The, um, Successive prosperity. We can just call it the fish for shortness sake. The whopper flower, the butterfly, or the jade chamber. For me, it's the butterfly. I think I like the butterfly the most. All right. Uh, we're going to go deliver the goods. Thank you, Wuffle. Yeah. You must oh, we're almost done? Kite. Perfect. Thank you for coming all this way. My name is Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte! I was wondering when they were going to show up more. I invited you here not just to purchase your fine tea, but also with the hope that you might be willing to sit down for a short interview. What do you say? An interview? To advertise my teas? I suppose you could think of it that way. We Fontanians are big tea drinkers, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fontaine Market. This could be then huge! some time to adequately prepare. Perhaps we could sit down and discuss the questions you intend to ask in advance. Of course, a businessman. Please follow me. Swag. You seem guilty and shocked. I have the other one. Um, Himto. I can show you. Plan? What do you think? She's the very important client. Hope we get to see Shanyun and Ito interacting. I would love that. <laughs> I would really love that. And here, I thought I <laughs> no, the skins are so good. I agree. Also, hi, Marcus. <sighs> Welcome in. I suppose I've been humbled. You sure know all Aww, kinds of cool and important people. Over here. Yoo-hoo! Over here! Oh. Where, actually, where are you, Grilly? <laughs> she mostly wants to talk about the next phase of the plan. Let's go while your dad is still distracted. Okay. 
Oh, I'm excited for the cutscene, guys. Lantern right hits me in the feels, you know? I take it that all is going well? Don't worry, Shenyun. Everything is going according to plan. I knew it. I knew that was all an act earlier. Auntie Shenyun is really something. Mm. She was so determined to help me. She didn't even care about making herself and Shanka appear foolish in front of my family. She truly knows how to look out for others. <laughs> I still have a lot to learn. Aww. As for the next step, He's so mature about this, Loki. Oh, no. Huh? What's wrong, Gummy? Don't tell me you're the ones footing the bill for all that tea. I can't let you do that. Fret not. Reimbursements will be made. Exactly. Think of it more as an investment, as Ningguang would say. Mm. We pulled together the Mora so that Charlotte could place the order. She's going to bring it back to the Steambird as a gift, as well as a sample of the regional specialty. Mm. Spontaneans will probably fall in love with your dad's tea as soon as they lay their eyes on Charlotte's article. And once all I the money that. from the new orders begin to roll in, getting our Mora back will be a piece of cake. Oh, okay. Business-related matters always seem to go over my head, but I refuse to let you all lose Mora on my behalf. I'll pay you back right now. We can talk about <sighs> He's such, such a little sweetie man. A date. There are more important matters for you to consider at the moment. Oh, that's sweet, Pimto. Yes. Also, Cam, welcome in. I've been thinking about it the whole way here. I have an idea. Amber, I can I show you where in a second. More trouble for all of you. Oh, baby. Hmm. That is for us to decide. Yeah, we're all friends here. We wouldn't be here if we didn't want to help, right? Just tell us about this idea of yours. Okay. Whew. So, it's like this. So first, we... And then we... Got it! Just leave it to us. Let's split up and make it happen. We need to do those things we talked about, but we also still have the kite flying competition. Mm -hmm. Since Xiao already tested My son is amazing, tests, I agree. Why don't we also go buy one of those mechanical thingamabobs or whatever they're called? We can attach <laughs> it to our kite. Thank you. <sighs> I know. No, they, they have to leave us out of it for the element of surprise, you know? I see you returned from your trip. I really do have to thank you for all your help from before. Thanks to you, my daughter was able to build a kite with her grandmother that very Aww, same that's day. Cute. She even wrote a long letter telling me how much she loved it. Oh, you should really be thanking Gaming, not us. W Gaming. Oh, I'll be sure to. And are you here to buy a kite? Please take your pick. From Fontaine, mm. do you sell them separately? Ah, yes. Here we haven't go. seen Farina yes, yet, right? Is she even going to be here? Charge. The directions are in the box. I guess no spoilers. If all at all. whatever, I don't know. Um, Maybe I shouldn't have asked. Feel right for <laughs> to just take it. Well, nor would it feel right for me. Oh, okay, tones. Mora. I'll go look. <laughs> Good luck in the kite flying competition. I'll be rooting for you. Maybe tomorrow. I hope all so. Right, then. I thought she was supposed to be included somehow. Also, Stendra, thank you for the 19 month resub. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you today? <sighs> it's done. Let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. Wait, are they still going to be at the table even though I talked to this lady? Wait, table by the bridge. What table by the bridge? I, I don't want to trigger the quest. I want to go see them. But on the other side? They're gone? Shoot. Was it anything like super crazy that they were talking about? I, I missed it. I got too excited. I think I might have missed it. It's okay. We'll continue with the quest. It's probably fine. Business talk? Okay. Eh. <gasps> 
Wait, is it cutscene time already? <laughs> Stop, they're so cute! They look so good. Come here, allow me. <laughs> Stop it! That's so sweet. I can't. Huh? Oh, what's going on? Did something happen? What should we do? Oh. oh? Get the mill with. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait, let me sit up. I'm so excited. Look at him! That's my son. <laughs> this is beautiful, actually. I have chills. I have chills all over my arms. I love him. No, don't, don't do this. Don't do it. Oh, hey, Kaching! Stop, not me. Like about to cry just because of that one second, you guys. Pictures already? Uh, I need to load more film. This is so cute. I love lantern break. <laughs> you did good coming. Why does this game keep making me fucking Boom, cry? <sighs> can can they please stop fucking doing this to me, you guys? I'll be right back. I, again, I don't own tissues. I need to get toilet paper. Okay, like honestly, at, literally, when will I learn? <laughs> when will I fucking learn that my actions have consequences? <laughs> Because this is twice in like a week that this game has made me cry. 
I fucking I love it and I hate it at the same time. You get me? Guys, I got I got I got tears on my desk mat. <laughs> Are we serious right now? Okay, and then afterward we'll go find the characters in the world. Okay. Okay, Adam. Any sound he hears, he'll bark, okay? I think I'll head off now, if that's okay. Thank you, little girl. Do you want us to walk you back? No need, no need. Master is waiting for me right over there. She's chilling. I should, Dina. I should. <sighs> it's time for them to have a moment. Hmm. Thank you for the lurk, cat. Again. Again? I can't. They're so cute. <laughs> I suppose I'll go first this time. Okay. Your performance. I've seen many Wu show dances in my time, but. Stop, it's I've gonna make me emotional again. What you pulled off there was breathtaking. Wow. I. I never thought I'd live to hear you say that. You're. I'm um, looking about to cry again. Professionally? Like. Absolutely. I, I know it'll be difficult, but. Then it doesn't matter. What I mean to say is, of course, it'll be difficult. But if that's your decision, if that's your dream, then it doesn't matter how difficult it is. As long as you put in the work, then any obstacle can be overcome in time. W. Really, honestly. when I was young, I also... <laughs> Actually... <laughs> hey, probably did the same thing. How about we that story of my past for another time? All I really want to say is, I've changed my mind. And much like this kite, you also deserve to soar to new heights. Dad. Son. Aww. Son? <laughs> Haven't heard that in a while. Stop! I bet you're wondering what's gotten into me saying all this. Well... <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Anyway, I know I've never found the chance to say this before, but... <clears throat> to me, Gaming, you've always been a great kid. <laughs> Stop. All right, that's everything I've got. Did you have something you wanted to say, or...? <laughs> <laughs> Baby, he's really such a sweet boy. This really gives Paimon a sense of accomplishment. Give yourself a pat on the back, Paimon. <laughs> now go. Over there, your friends are still waiting for you. Huh? But you came all this way. I'll be staying in Liyue Harbor for a bit longer. When you have time, we can grab dim sum together. Mm. Your treat, right? Dad, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Go. This is very sweet. <laughs> okay, then I'm off. See you soon. It's kite. That's quite the smile you've got there, Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really? It's <laughs> nothing to be embarrassed about. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Hmm. I'd like to find and thank Auntie Xianyun, as well as everyone else who's helped me out. If everyone has time, maybe we could all get together and go fly a kite. Bro, that was so good. What a satisfying quest, no? So, so don't worry, where am I right now? They don't call me the gold there should the be Mountain Shaper and Moon Carver and Charlotte? Charlotte is right here. Let's talk to Charlotte first. Oh, Lantern Rite was simply amazing. 
I'm not sure I'll be able to sleep tonight. Honestly, relatable. Oh, I'm gonna get another Gaumin constellation from the uh, from the event. What about you, Amber? Yeah, the fossils are here too. <laughs> okay, about the mechanical vertical lifting device. I think we're probably gonna get to ask all of oh, these, right? That? Yeah, interesting story. It was invented by a guy from Fontaine. His name is Eildison. He's always tinkering away at some mechanism or another. He's even asked the Steambird to write about his inventions on more than one occasion. Wow. I believe I have a direct quote from him about this particular one. It, ah, yes, here it is. The device is powered entirely by mechanical components without the need for any additional energy source. Basically, it's a manually operated cranking device. How high it can fly entirely depends on how much force you can exert. Mm. Combining this invention with a kite. What a great idea, right? About the interview and working together with Gaming's father. Oh, Thank you for the hijack, by the way, Kim. My conversation with Mr. Ip went really well. I've already sent the first draft of my article back to the Steambird. It's a piece that contains all the pertinent information while also telling a story. Wow. I'm quite proud of it. Exciting. Oh, that reminds me. I should thank everyone who made this possible for me. Especially that spirited lady with those peculiar turns of phrase. Miss Shenyun was her name, right? It was all thanks to your connections and creativity. I would have never thought I'd be able to bring such a special gift back to Fontaine with me. Um, about Lantern Ray. This is my first time experiencing a foreign holiday in person. It was so exciting. It really is so the exciting. I love Lantern Ray. The contagious <sighs> holiday spirit, the profound, storied cultural traditions steeped in symbolism. Oh, I almost forgot. Kuching even gave me a kite with a poem on it that she wrote herself. Wow. It goes, Dreams it's are okay, like John. I got you. With them do our hopes take flight. Sailing high above the clouds, they yearn for something more profound. Yet try we may and try we might, a deeper truth waits in plain sight. Though we hang our hopes in skies abound, many joys lie on the ground. I want to include this poem in my special feature on Lantern Rite. I'm sure a lot of people will love it. Nice poem. Okay, until next time, yep. Charlotte. And happy lantern right to you. They are so cute. All right, let's go find the fossils, shall we? They should be... Also, Vlad and Navia... Or, I'm sorry, I said Navia. Vlad and Nadia should be around here somewhere, too. Okay, here's those two. Given your present countenance... One presumes you are missing some old friends. I know, no. could you imagine if it was Navia? Help, but be reminded of them. Pray speak. Unburden yourself of these sentiments. One simply wishes Monogius were alive to witness such peace alongside us. He was mm. so skilled in matters of craftsmanship. Kite making would scarcely prove to be a test of his capabilities. Were he yet amongst the living, he could have opened a kite stall. One is certain it would have been an establishment rich not only in profit, but also esteem. And if, as in the past, he were unable to involve himself in matters of the mortal realm, we could sell the kites in his stead. When we finished, we could bring him back wine and partake in drink mm. and good company. Mooncarver, <sighs> those are now but fond moments in our memories. Indeed. The dead are gone. So, as the representatives of the living, let us take in the sights for a bit longer, if just for his sake. Damn. TG's. Yeah, Minogius is one of the, the Yakshas, right? Okay, here they are. To continue their love story, let's see how they're doing, shall we? Do you ever think that there might be some kites that can no longer be retrieved after being sent up into the sky? I guess so. Even if you could control the line, the wind might decline your commands all the same. Speaking of that, should we go buy one? I mean, I haven't flown one before, so I'm not sure if it'll work out. Or what say we make one together? I've seen kids discussing the patterns they want to draw on there, so it might not be that difficult. The two of us, sure, let's give it a go. Cute. Oh, there's- wait, I didn't even mean to find Gaoming and his dad, but they're over here, and I think Chi-Chi... And Yao Yao are either in front of this building or they're like higher up and I miss them. They could be up there though, I think. So I'll go talk to Gaming and his dad first. They're up top. Okay, good, good, good. So you're still a big fan of winter melon cake then? Cute. 
Oh, yeah, I forgot I took it off auto. Oh, <laughs> I guess you heard everything Paimon was saying, huh? <laughs> of course. She was talking about you. As your father, how could I not listen? Remember back when you were a kid, and you would sit on my shoulders to watch the Wuxiu dance. Oh. On our way back home, you would beg me to buy you I mean, that sounds good, I'm not gonna lie. We would only buy two at a time. But before long, we tried the winter melon cake from every vendor that street had to offer. Cute. There was also that one time you used your pocket money to treat me. Do you still remember? What a good yeah, kid for real. I remember. That I know, where's my winter melon cake winter for real? Melon cake I ever had. Let's go back sometime. The shop's still there, and I remember the way. My treat, just like before. So sweet. Are you sure? Absolutely. So, so sweet. Okay. Our kite is so high up. Thank you for inviting me, Yao Yao. I am having a lot of fun. I'm glad. Cute. If you want, we can go fly kites some other time, too. The fun doesn't have to end today. Really? How about we do it during the day next time? That way, we can see the design better. When it flies super high up, it will look exactly like a real finch. Okay. They're so cute, uh, man. Can I take this kite to bed with me? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> but of course. So cute. All right, let's talk to them. I don't get it. Is something wrong, Shanha? Tell me. Perhaps I can help. The color black doesn't get dirty easily, so I thought this outfit would be acceptable to wear to work. But Xiongling told me it was inappropriate. Bruh. But inappropriate? How? She probably just meant the outfit isn't suitable for that particular environment and occasion. But for a festival gathering with friends, a nighttime stroll, or an important banquet, your outfit is more than appropriate, Shenha. So you're saying it's only something I should wear in front of important people. <sighs> I suppose that's another way to think of it. <laughs> Shanha is so goofy, Bryce. Where? <sighs> Hi. Hmm. Uh, one may have won the kite flying competition, Yu Hung, but this prize should truly be reserved for another. Yu Hung. You need not be so humble, honored adeptus. Among is that like a title? Kites, oh, it is a title. A cut above the rest. I forgot. Please accept this prize. You deserve it. Besides. I'm quite certain we owe a fair share of the success of this year's lantern right to you. Mm. If you insist, then we <laughs> daughter in law is crazy. However, there is another matter with which one would ask your assistance. Of course. Hmm. One would be much obliged if you could distribute this case of sunglow tea among the millilith on duty. The security of the festivities mm, rests entirely this on is their super shoulders, sweet. after all. One presumes they could always benefit from something to invigorate their spirits. How thoughtful. <laughs> Cloud Retainer is so thoughtful and attentive to others' needs. I would expect nothing less of an esteemed adeptus such as herself. Understood. I'll get on that right away. Hmm. <sighs> a fortuitous result indeed. One's <gasps> surplus has hitherto <laughs> resolved itself. Uh, I can't. Okay, next we can go find Xiao. Xiao is here. Okay. Hi. Traveler. Hi. It's just as I thought. You stopped short of stepping into the city again. Being in the city isn't the only way for me to appreciate the lights and beauty of Lantern Rite. Look. Liyue Harbor lies just beyond this mountain. As long as I stand at this vantage point, I may freely behold the sights of all the kites slowly ascending into the sky. Mm. For me, that is enough. All right. I invited you here because there is something I would like to do. I want to release a shell lantern and 
I'd like you to be there for it. Did you make it yourself? Yes. I apologize for its crude appearance. I have little skill in that regard. No, no, it's amazing. You are very kind, as usual. This is so cute. All right. It's time. Oh. How sweet. That is so sweet. Okay, what happens if I talk to him again? <sighs> As the Shao lantern slowly disappears into the tranquil night sky, Shao's expression Traveler. softens. Hi. Thank you. You're welcome. That was so cute. So, so, so cute, you guys. All right, anybody here still have any Shao lanterns from Lantern Rite, by the way? Like the first Lantern Rite? I only have two left. Because I didn't know that we would never get them again. So I didn't make like a ton like other people. So I only have two. The little duck going by. They're just like me for real. Vegeta, welcome in. I'm doing well. How are you? Bro, I would love to be here. Oh, let me put on auto. Hi, airline. Welcome in. Huh? Huh? Did you hear that? Sunshine! Blue skies! Good vibes! Kinda sounds like Navia Loki, no? I heard it too. Something about bullfruit and good vibes. What? So Paimon wasn't just hearing things. Hmm, that voice sounds really familiar. Well, we've got the time. Why don't we go check it out? Okay, let's go see what's up. Hi, Black Soul. You and Paimon make your way up the mountain in search of the source of the shouting. As far as you can make out, it's almonds this and cocoa paste that. Sounds delicious, that's for sure. The lively voice invigorates your steps and you ascend Hi, the mountain in no time. Oh, it was Navia. What are they doing here? Navia, come on! Why is she just yelling? <laughs> It isn't my dear partners. Hey, girly. I told you that something good was going to happen during our travels today. I have to say, sometimes the Steambird's astrology column is spot on. It's just your lucky day. Are you Grand release when? Students? Oh, and that reminds me. Happy lantern right. Oh, happy lantern right, girly. Ride. And to you. Oh my gosh, she looks so good. When is she going to be released? How did you get Navia from that? I thought that was a kid. I can tell by the ends of her phrases more so than the beginnings. Um, Airline, thank you for the 15 stream streak. I appreciate you. Also, hi, Gunnar. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. Her, her design looks so cool. I want to know what she does, man. Okay, and to you. Happy Lantern Rite to you, too. I low keep forgetting about her, too. Uh They're vibing, and having a date or whatever. That was you, right, Navia? Yeah. <laughs> oh, impressive. You could tell it was me from that far away. You've got good ears. Thanks. That or your voice is just really loud. That too. Well, of course it is. After all, I'm a boss. Indeed. Real. I suppose it's an asset. Sure is. Having a loud voice is a handy tool when it comes to communication. Wait, wait, wait. That wasn't even Paimon's point. Paimon just wants to know why you two were shouting from the top of this deserted mountain. No, literally. Something about almonds, maybe? And buell fruit? Ooh, is it some sort of secret code? No, it's not a code. The words are meaningless. Perhaps. But the act of shouting was very meaningful. She's just yelling just to yell? That's just Honestly, what valid. Do, right? After all the hard work it takes to make it to the top, as you stand on the summit looking out at the vast scenery, it's not easy to resist the urge to release those emotions. I see. So it's not what you were shouting that matters, but the act of shouting itself. <laughs> exactly. You get me, partner. I was afraid that it would cause a disturbance, so I asked the locals around here, and they said it was fine. Apparently, most hikers like to shout when they get to the top, so the locals are used mm. to it by now. 
Interesting. So, you see, it's not just me. I guess everyone shouts from the top of a mountain at some point in their life. Uh, yeah. For yourself. When you're stressed, sure. don't you ever just get the urge to do something for no reason? Mm, not really. If I ever get stressed, I just go hunting. Oh, that's a What you be hunting, though? What I choose to hunt depends on my mood. Oh! Huh? <laughs> um, anyway, why don't you Wait, I wanted to hear more, bruh. Shout anything you want. It's a real stress reliever. Okay. As long as Paimon has clothes on her back and food in her belly, Paimon doesn't think there's any stress that needs relieving. That's crazy. I prefer to keep things bottled up. <laughs> That's so real. To let loose. That's crazy. No need to be shy. Even Farina was shouting from the top of this mountain earlier. Who? Why are we saying who? Huh? Did Paimon hear that right? Farina's also here. Oh, okay. Can We're just surprised. It? Believe in your ears. It is indeed as you heard. Actually, the reason we climbed this mountain in the first place was also because we heard the sound of shouting. Hmm. Yes. We could just about make out someone yelling things like, Help me! And what should I do? Oh, girly. So up here to check it out. <laughs> yeah. What do you know? Miss Farina was standing right there, all red in the face. She practically sprinted back down the mountain the minute she saw us. Oh? Uh, that reminds me. I believe what she actually said was, So help me, I will figure out what I should do about this script. I see. Uh, so... You could actually hear what she was saying? Why didn't you say so earlier? I thought someone was really in trouble. I figured we would come check out the situation either way. Why not let her keep some privacy? Oh, seems like you caught Farina in the middle of some stress relief as well. She probably would have never thought... No, she definitely would have never thought she would run into anyone she knew all the way out here. I mean, that's valid. <laughs> the traveler really does need to let the voices out, though, bro. Was she alone? I think so. Uh, we ran into Nervalet on the way here as well, but oh, he's in. He oh, he's in the area. I'm so down. So they probably no worries, are together. Are like... What? Nervalet was here too. So many people from Fontaine. What was he doing here? It couldn't have been for vacation. I think it just might have been actually. But apparently, he only stayed for half a day before heading back. Oh? He's a very busy man. Well, I wanted to see him, mm. though. Nevillette is not the type to take much time off. Taking even a half day for himself is already a huge step in the right direction. Didn't Charlotte publish an article on the Liyue tea industry recently? Maybe he was inspired to come buy some tea after reading that article. You know, just like you were. <gasps> I want to see Risley! Different. I'm here because I was asked to accompany you. The tea purchase is simply an added bonus of this location. You Fontanians and your tea drinking. Oh, it's not for me. Mm. I lost a bet with Ridesley, and now I have to buy him something. Oh, but I want to see him too. Why can't we see Risley or Nubula, bro? Vale, welcome in, by the way. You made a bet? It was just a spur-of-the-moment sort of bet. Ridesley gets really invested in that sort of thing, but he couldn't care less about what he wins in the end. You could Love give him. him mint plants that you plucked from the side of the road, and he wouldn't even mind. Uh, if only he was that easy going when it came to talking business. <laughs> In any case, I'm pretty sure the tea you bought is this region's specialty. What is it called again? Uh, Nervalet even mentioned it earlier. Sunglo tea. Yes, yes, that's the one. You didn't really buy ten boxes, did you? <sighs> Please. Do How I day look like is crazy who would fall for that sort of marketing trap? Uh, that reminds me. You guys said you only came up here because you heard my voice, right? I hope it didn't put you out. You must have had other plans for the day. Oh, that's right. Who tell? Mhm. Mm a few days ago, we heard that a friend was going to be in Chaoying Village, so we decided to come and see if we could run into her. Don't let Shanyun here, bro. Oh, dear. We've been chatting for quite some time. I'm sorry for keeping you. No harm done, partner. <laughs> That's good. We should probably head out.
up and look for Hu Tao. Mm-hmm. No need to stay on our account. We just got up here, so we're gonna stay around for a little longer. Okay. Hmm. Go and meet your friend. We can meet up in Chaoying Village later. Sounds reasonable to me. Sounds good. We're gonna head down the mountain then. See you later. Bye. No, imagine if Arlequino showed up too. That would be crazy. I could never imagine it, but it would be wild. Hold on, let me actually switch to this team real quick. I, I just realized I don't need my French routine on anymore. Also, I switched to these wings because I kind of like uh, how they look with her like little feather parts instead. The other ones still looks good, like they matched her well, but I kind of like these ones right now. Mm. They do look good, right? About dim sum being eaten in the morning? Oh, Paimon wonders if we can still get some at this time of day. Afternoon tea might be more appropriate at this point. Oh, well that's fine too. Paimon doesn't care what kind of tea it is as long as it comes with some tasty snacks. Now let's see what kind of yummy things we can find around here. Uh... Paimon's not seeing things, is she? Is that Farino standing between Jiangli and Hu Tao? Whoa, judging based on the hat, I'd say so. Wait, I'm so down for this. <sighs> How many friendship characters do I have done? 64 for me. I have all of them but three finished. Um, so however many characters there are in the game, minus three. W Drip, I, I agree. I agree. Zhongli knows a True lot of stuff. M. Maybe yeah. he's telling Farina about Chaoying Village. Oh, or maybe Hu Tao is trying to rope Farina into being one of her clients. Wanna make a bet? Hey, this isn't the Fortress of Maripede. But Paimon could be convinced for the right price. Let's say loser buys the winner three huge bowls of seafood kanji. Since Zhongli is there, Paimon bets things are pretty tame. I like how the dog is just watching him as well. Uh, then I vote for Hustler Hu Tao. All right, no time to waste. Let's go see who's right. Okay. There's <laughs> a little Momo dog literally just watching them, you guys. Oh damn! Why are we yelling? Oh great! Now Paimon shouting too. That's crazy. Oh. Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Seems like our luck just keeps on growing. <laughs> that we were able to meet you both without prior arrangement must mean that this is quite the serendipitous meeting indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, so both of you are acquainted with the Traveler and Paimon then. I have keenly felt the passage of time since our last meeting. So many chums all in one place. What the fuck? Okay. I'm pretty sure you didn't learn that one from me. Uh -oh. I must admit, I'm a bit surprised to see you here, Traveler. She's but so adorable. As you're a hero who's been all over to that, it makes sense that you would be well-traveled and well-connected. Mm -hmm, Since mm -hmm. we have found ourselves in each other's company within this fertile land, allow me to take this opportunity to wish you a happy lantern rite. Happy lantern rite. It appears you have been to Fontaine then. Yup. Clearly. Given your We've been around. To spread good deeds wherever you go. It's no surprise that you would make the acquaintance of a celebrity as illustrious and celebrated as Miss Farina. Wait, so he knows who Farina is, right? But does Farina know who he is, though? You flatter me, Mr. Zhongli. She probably doesn't, Although right? I've built up a certain following within Fontaine. It is no reflection. I'll see. Of Perfect. Or okay, okay. I stand before you right now as nothing more than an ordinary traveler in search of beautiful scenery and creative inspiration. There is definitely more to Mr. Zhongli than meets mm. the eye. I could tell as much from our conversation earlier. Given his breadth of knowledge on both academic and worldly matters, there's no way he hasn't heard about what happened in Fontaine. <laughs> Blissfully unaware. <laughs> ignorance for my benefit? No, 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 no. I, yeah. You're no common tourist. I simply won't have you talk about yourself that way. Huh? Does that mean Hu Tao also knows? 
You may not have heard, friends, but... Uh, Miss Hu Tao... Miss Farina is now one of my esteemed clients. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the sound effect? Did you hear that, Paimon? She's Hu Tao's esteemed client. Okay, okay, you win. Yeah. Hmm, guess Paimon will have to break into the hidden stash at the bottom of her shoe. Oh? What's this about She has a hidden stash? Thing? Don't tell me. You two were placing bets on us. It was Paimon's idea. More accurate, more stash. No, but okay, I did not know. Like, what the heck is up with her having a hidden stash, bro? Okay. Um, it was Paimon's idea. <laughs> Time does fly. What the heck, man? That's crazy. Oh, I see. That means you, my friend, must have guessed that I was trying to promote my business to Miss Farina. Well, you know me. That I do, my friend. What was Paimon's guess then? Paimon thought Zhang Li was showing the newbie around. <sighs> By newbie, you mean me, right? If that's the case, then Paimon's guess was also correct. Oh, that's right. Mr. Zhang Li was telling me about some great sightseeing spots in the area. <laughs> you see? Paimon was right too! Since both of our guesses were right, there can't be a winner or Fine, a fine. Keep your secret stash then. Hey, don't be upset, traveler. I'm surprised they don't, Amber. Oh, how about this? You buy Paimon a bull and Paimon will also buy you a bull. Okay. I think that's fair. As for the third bull... Since I was the subject of the bet, perhaps it should go to me? You know, as a congratulations for the huge deal I just struck. I'll buy you a bull anytime you want. <laughs> I was just joking. Anyway, I should be the one treating you. The funeral parlor is about to bring in quite the sum after all. Really? Oh, Paimon almost forgot to ask about the most important question. Did I... Something happened recently, Farina? Huh? What do you mean? Uh... Well, you know, with you enlisting the services of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor and all. Oh, well, yes. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh, no. Paimon is so sorry for your loss. Although Paimon may have not known the person, please accept Paimon's deepest... Whoa, 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 it's not like that, Paimon. <laughs> Her face. Size so Moffu, thank you for the follow. Uh, Welcome in. But Paimon just thought, since you hired the services of a funeral parlor and all... Hey, it's not that big of a stretch. Really, Paimon? It's not like you don't know me. Do I look like I know anyone who would ask me to coordinate their funeral? Miss Hu Tao is simply helping prepare some props for my film. Oh. Not Her past me, parish though, needs I a coffin, real. Stories from Li Wei. The content was spectacular. In fact, I still feel the need to sleep with the light on even now. That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's not the point. Now that Fontaine's biggest star has returned to the stage, I figured it's about time the industry enjoyed a breath of fresh air. You might even call it a breath of fresh t terror? Terror? Like terror? Okay. Hey, <laughs> that's pretty good. I'll have to remember that for my ad post. That's so crazy. <laughs> uh, literally, where is Sino, guys? just to enlist the services of Wangcheng Funeral Parlor? Well, not exactly. My original plan was to just relax and enjoy the sights. But then I ran into Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhang Li, and well, you know the rest. Mm. I suppose it was meant to be. <laughs> it was a fated meeting indeed. <laughs> Zhang Li sure loves his lofty turns of phrase. But if you ask me, it's all thanks to that man who stopped to ask for directions. Who? Oh, who was it? Newbie Let? It's someone you know. Wanna take a guess? It was Nubulet, wasn't it? What? How did you guess that on your first try? Because I love him. Very impressive, my friend. 
Your guessing game is spot on today. You tell everyone about your encounter with Navi and Clarand at the top of the mountain. One look at the pitiful expression on Farina's face is enough to convince you to leave out the part about the shouting. Huh. I never thought Nervalette would be the type to get lost. I love that. I'm sure he didn't get lost. <laughs> Even I was able to find my way to this place without any trouble. He was already getting ready to leave by the time I arrived. He just wanted to ask someone about the quickest way to get back to Fontaine. Yep, that's exactly what he asked. Mm. This area is full of mountains and rivers. It's normal to not know the fastest route. For him, though, swimming would probably be the fastest route of them all. So, were you the one that pointed him in the right direction, Hotel? Of course. I'm also a guide of sorts, you know. So naturally, I also have a great sense of direction. But speaking of your friend... Mm -hmm. What about him? He doesn't get out much, does he? <laughs> Yo. No, no, he doesn't. Uh, no wonder. He was stiff as a board and way too polite. I would have never guessed he was here on vacation if you hadn't told Let's, me. I want to see him. Uh -huh. I wish you could have seen He's it, bruh. for half a day. I'm pretty sure he is the only one who would consider that to be a vacation. That's so crazy. Oh, this gentleman you speak of must keep a demanding schedule. I want to see that meet, sure guys. You didn't see him, but he was dressed like he was about to attend some important meeting. It wasn't anything like what someone would wear on vacation. Is that so? Wait, you didn't see him, Jolie? Unless... Unless Unfortunately, he did. Unfortunately, no. Oh, fuck. At the time, it appeared as if Director Hu and Miss Farina were having quite the productive conversation. I know matters of business can take much discussion, so I decided to fetch some tea for them. How sweet. What a shame. That gentleman seemed like a sophisticated sort of guy. I actually think you two would have hit it off. I would love to see them interact. Is that so? The side eye is crazy! Judging by how Zhongli is acting and taking into consideration Nubulet's true identity, could Zhongli have been avoiding him on purpose? Hey, yo! Oh, I see. It is what it is. It's truly a pity. Not him avoiding Nubulet! I want them to meet so bad. You're kidding me. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Hi, Josh. Welcome in. How are you today? <laughs> to it is what it is, I guess. Farina's turn of phrase. Perhaps it just wasn't meant to be. Nah, bro. I want to see them meet. Well, that's fucked. The around, I'm sure you don't want the smoke, though. That's to true. Each other at some point. That's right. She's got more friends than she knows what to do with. Little do they know, sometimes I put them in the same party together. <laughs> I have a certain charm about me. I'm good well, with people. Well, that's certainly true. Oh, that reminds me. If you get the chance, you should try and talk to Nervalette into loosening up a bit. Yeah, I got you, girly pop. Don't even worry. Just the Palais isn't going to fall apart if he disappears for a few days. <laughs> he shouldn't keep himself cooped up all the time. I agree. Even clams open their shells to let in fresh water every once in a while, right? If he's really that much of a stickler for protocol, he can fill out a leave of absence request. He'd uh, have to approve it himself since he handles that sort of thing now, but mm. you know what I mean. Goofy. Uh, that does make sense. Seems like this gentleman is also in charge of something pretty important. Hell yeah. Uh, he's the fair and impartial Eudex of Fontaine, head of the highest court in the land, otherwise known as the demon who controls all the paperwork. Hey, is crazy. Uh, sounds like a pretty <laughs> uptight sort of guy, all right. I haven't to In my experience, a leader needs to be able to roll with the punches. That also includes knowing when and what to prioritize. It seems like your friend still has a lot of growing to do. That's so funny. If I remember correctly, he's already several thousands of years old. Mm. You were quite right, Miss Hu <laughs> That's oh. so fucking funny. Traveler, Miss Farina, those two individuals over there appear to recognize you. Yeah, we know them. Wait, they look so cute on that bridge. I actually can't. 
We saw you all chatting over here, and we're wondering if we could join in. Says he's over a thousand years old in Chinese. Uh, I see. Excuse Thank you, Black Soul. <laughs> no oh, she's so necessary. polite. I accidentally skipped. Any friend of the traveler and Miss Farina is a friend of mine. Ah, straight to the point. I like it. Everyone circles around you and begins to introduce themselves. Hu Tao's eyes light up when she hears about Claran's profession, but a quick explanation from Farina and Navia seems to dispel some of her more misguided ideas. Hmm, it's getting late. If we want to catch a boat back before dark, we should probably get going. Indeed. Then, Miss Farina. Oh, uh, uh, yes? When are you planning to head back? Do you need us to escort you? Oh, um, I, I don't think that will be necessary. I mean, you're not my subordinate anymore. You don't need to look after me. Oh, BB. Um, I didn't mean it that way. It's normal for friends to travel home together. Cute. There are a lot of mountainous roads in this area. I imagine they'll be even harder to navigate after dark. Exactly. Just like in those ghost stories. Not her reminding her of the ghost stories. Eight That's crazy. Paths converge in a wood. Beside them an old house is stood. If you dare to go inside, not a soul will greet your eye. Okay, girlie. But if you take a closer look, there may be something. <laughs> this look on her face! <laughs> a candle flickers to and fro, yet there is no wind to make it so. What is It's that? hella creepy. What could it mean? In this wood, where mystery screams. Okay, Hutel. I'll pause on I'll pause on this screen. <laughs> I'll pause her here. Cause she looks so fucking goofy. Okay, let me continue. Ads are over. <laughs> oh, poor Farina. Uh, uh, ladies, no, uh, I mean friends. Please take me with you. Yes, yeah, true guys. <laughs> of course. F Farina. <laughs> Gotta say, Farina, you are really quite the character. Yeah. By the way, did I hear you mention that Clorand used to work under you? Mm? Then you must have also been a leader at some point. Mm? Uh, well, that's, uh, all in the past now. Besides, being a leader is hard. It wasn't mm. the right job for me. Or BB. I prefer how things are now. I can come and go as I please and get to enjoy the sweet taste of freedom. Good for her, man. Well, you've certainly picked an apt place to relax. Chaoying Village is an exemplary choice. Well, have you all had a good time? Only the best. <laughs> and I've learned a lot, too. Thank you so much, Miss Hutao and Mr. Music Jomi. is so pretty. It's fine. You thanked us more than enough already. The next time you're in this neck of the woods, I'll treat you to some dim sum in the city. Cute. Dim sum. Is that some kind of liyue term for snacks or desserts? They are a part of it. It's basically a table full of as much tea, sweets, and good company as you can manage. Oh, so it's basically a tea party. <laughs> Sounds great. Make sure to order the winter melon cake and the lotus flower crisp. I want winter melon cake. Delicious Paimon knows you'll love them. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to it then. Great, but didn't you guys say you were here on vacation? You're not bringing home any souvenirs? Of course I am. I bought tons of fun things to bring home with me. A kite, a parasol, a little tin frog that jumps. Oh, and a stuffed toy of a mythical beast. Is it a swanee? Or is the one who didn't buy anything for herself. So all you're bringing back with you is that tea? And some tea-flavored hard candies. They're for Sijuin. Cute. Florand isn't much of a shopaholic. Well, one of us has to practice restraint. Why is that? Hey, I'm hardly reckless with my mora. I'll have you know, all the purchases I made today were well within my budget. What about you, Farina? Me? Oh, well, I bought some tea, of course. I just had to try all the varieties recommended in the Steambird. 
Other than that, just some bits and bobs, you know. <laughs> a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Sus. They should all be things I can use, I think. Oh, so you fell for a few marketing traps then. Uh, now Paimon's even more confused. If you bought that much stuff, where did it all go? Into one of Linny's magic packets? Oh, <laughs> actually... Monsieur Nervillette took them with him. <laughs> I love him, bro. Wait, what? Why did he take them? He's not hoarding treasure, is he? Oh, that's quite the imagination you've got there, Paimon. Monsieur Nervillette just saw the amount of bags we had and offered to take How them sweet. back for us. Very, very I sweet. I felt a bit bad at first, but uh, I really did have a lot of stuff. <laughs> I was just imagining him lugging all of this stuff to back to Fontaine. For me, once he's done with the day's work, Novelette is a man of his word. If he says he can do something, then he means it. I love him, bro. See, even Clorand was happy to take him up on his offer. If even his trusty subordinate agreed, then who was I to refuse? Wow, he seems like a real gentleman. Maybe he's not as uptight as I thought. If only the funeral parlor had an employee as thoughtful, Yo. productive, and responsible as him. Yo. Right, Zhongli? That's crazy. <laughs> Indeed. Yo. Clarence said Nouvellet offered to deliver her gifts to Ryan. Oh, we do get to see him. We built the entrance of the fortress of Meripede. Maybe we'll run into Nouvellet. Oh my gosh, yay. I'm so but glad. I feel like we haven't seen him in forever. Exactly Bitch, I'll sit there and wait. I will literally sit there and wait for him. Oh my god, shut up. Wait, 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 wait. Guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh my god, I just choked on air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't. That's mad funny. Alright, let's talk to them really quick before we go look oh, for New A new year of work is about to begin. If there's anything you want to talk about, Zhang Li, you know you can come to me. I'm all ears. Does the director have any concerns? It just seemed like you were a bit preoccupied today, and much less talkative than usual. He barely said anything other than, Is that so? And, indeed. Mm. If you ask me, I'd say you're having a midlife crisis. You're getting to be around that age, after all. Is wow. so? <laughs> wow. Just, That's crazy. distance from the city. Chao Ying Village enjoys a much slower pace of life. Surrounded by such peace and tranquility, I also seem to have developed a proclivity for inactivity. I apologize for making you worry. Ah, um, I see. What do you think, Traveler? Is this atmosphere putting you in a lazy Hell mood? yeah, bro. I could take a nap right now. Out of mind, out of sight, different worlds should not collide? Girl, what? Wow, you are getting really good at these kinds of lines. That went Indeed. right over my head. Wow. Okay, we'll go talk to them next. <sighs> she be rhyming. She's doing something, that's for sure. All right, let's go talk to the girlies. Well, everyone, make sure that you've got all your belongings with you before we leave. If there's any souvenirs anyone still wants to buy, the time is now. Reliable as ever, Miss President. <laughs> What is that supposed to mean? Clorand is right, though. You really are reliable. It's not what she's saying. It's the way she's saying it. I will say, but I never thought you'd be so easygoing outside of work, Clorand. The They're having a, a girlfriend's moment. It's cute. doesn't exactly make you seem like the type who enjoys interacting with people. Well, I try to keep my professional and private life separate. That includes my behavior. You take care now, traveler. Paimon. Don't worry, your partner is very strong. Ah, trying to act cool now, are we? <laughs> well, I guess it's not an act for you, is it? No, girly, yeah, I'm tough. Quite strong. Thank you. <laughs> it's been great talking to you all. 
I'm really glad I decided Well, she's got friends now, much. man. I love Maybe that for her. We could go on another trip together sometime. Imagine, guys, the next Golden Apple Archipelago is being foreshadowed right now, and the Fontaine girlies are going to get to go next year. I'm calling it now, bro. Somebody click this. Somebody clip this moment, and if I end up being right, I'm going to scream. Oh, I kind of missed this music. Hi. Good to see you again. Hi. I missed you. I want to see Risley now, too. Oh, it's you. It has been some time since our last meeting. Mm-hmm. Few people frequent this location. Since I was able to conclude my work early for the day, I thought I might take a walk and avail myself of this area's peace and quiet. You call this early? Do you always work this late, Nevelet? Strictly speaking, that depends on the agenda for the day. I am hardly bereft of time, however, so working late is of little consequence to me. Really? If you have so much time on your hands, then why did you only go to Chow Ying Village for half a day? Hmm? First, I should clarify that I was referring to my lifespan rather than the time <laughs> I was <supposed laughs> That's valid. Any day. Second, I was unaware you possessed knowledge of my trip to Chow Ying Village. Oh, I was there, girly. Give Nivula a quick summary of everything that happened I today. See. Thank you for informing me. So did you deliver the gifts? Yes, they have been safely delivered. <laughs> we don't I get to see him for a second. Oh, I'm so happy. Just a simple gift delivery, and she has the great and mighty Udex at her beck and call. I was just passing through. It was merely an act of convenience. All right. Then I hereby confirm receipt of the goods on behalf of the staff of the Fortress of Meripede. A verbal receipt of confirmation? <laughs> Is yeah. such a formality really necessary for a small matter such as this? Guess not. This quantity of tea, though, seems a little excessive for a gift, don't you think? Before you know it, they'll start accusing me of taking bribes. Ah, about that. Much of that is my own excess, I'm afraid. Oh? Oh? <laughs> Why? I what am Risley Risley's me. It was buy ten boxes, get half off. Ah, that explains it then. Well, go ahead he got and leave caught. me. He got got, I'll bro. Stash as fast as I can. He fucking got got. You have my. Oh thoughts. no. Oh no. Oh, there's something else I'd like uh, to talk to you. Oh no. This is a stone slate engraved with a symbolic design. Oh. Well, that is an apt description. It is, in actuality, a legal codex. A legal codex, huh? Hmm. Before the advent of modern writing utensils, information was recorded on stone slabs such as this. The law was no different. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Since <laughs> ancient times, the scales of justice have symbolized the fairness and impartiality of judiciousness. Uh huh. As a tribute to that sentiment. This slate was designed after a traditional legal codex and engraved with a symbol instead of text. Uh -huh. During my travels recently, I chanced upon a roadside stall offering tourists the opportunity to try their hand at the ceramic arts. So I decided to have a go. No way, bruh. I fucking we love him. We some time ago about gifting you a legal codex. So, here you go. I actually love him. Ah, so that's what this is about. <laughs> I did Yo. not expect you to remember it as well. In any case, I hope this can be considered as a reasonable attempt to join in on the. This building. is actually adorable. It is a very good attempt. <laughs> Yo. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Even your sense of humor centers around the law. That's an impressive level of commitment. For real. Well, a gift of. This significance deserves to be put on display, and I know just the place. Front and center in the fortress's showroom. Wow. Ah, oh, surely there's no need for such a 
grand gesture. Just kidding. I don't have anything like a showroom. <laughs> but we do have a storage room. We can put it next to all the mechanical parts. That's crazy. <laughs> that Bruh. Good okay. Bro does not get like he does not care. This is the fourth day of the Lantern Right quest, Ash. Indeed. Of course, while I was there, I also took the opportunity to taste the local spring water. Of course he did. The taste is much purer than what I have delivered to me in Fontaine. It stands to reason that the long-distance transport has a tendency to imbue the water with extraneous emotion. If you want to experience the true flavor, you simply have to go to the source. Perhaps I should organize some time off to do the same as <sighs> As they say in the uh, a balance between work and play is sure to keep your troubles at bay. Then we are of the same mind. It appears my desire is justified. <laughs> if you say so, but you know you don't have to justify a vacation, right? You can just take one. Mm. After all, you're hardly bereft of time. You can do whatever you want. You're quite right. I suppose I suffer not from a lack of opportunity, but rather a lack of inspiration. Go drink your water, However, King. After reading a few articles about Li Wei's holiday traditions, the idea popped into my head and made itself quite at home. Seeing as I was free of responsibilities for the morning, I decided to depart at once. And how was it? Refreshing. My spontaneous outing seemed to inspire quite a few other spontaneous decisions as well. Take, for example, my foray into ceramics. <laughs> At first, my foray into ceramics and unforgiving, but had the right amount of water, and it becomes soft, moldable, and able to take shape. In the past, I never thought about how quotidian vessels were crafted, but now I have participated in their very making. He's so this is also something I made today. Oh, wait, it's actually super pretty. What? It's really cute. Oh wow, what a big ladle? That's a ladle? I meant that it was supposed to be some long necked sea creature. That was indeed one of my inspirations. <laughs> He's so cute. Are you kidding me? He's so goofy. <laughs> I know he's getting hobbies, guys. Oh, I love it. It's amazing. The color also really matches your style. Really? You like it? Shut up! Tell you the truth, given your unexpected arrival, I find myself quite He's so cute. to give you the welcome you deserve. Around such an important holiday such as this, human custom would dictate that gifts should be in order. But I'm afraid this is all I can offer. If you'll have it, that is. Can I really keep this? You made it by hand and everything. That is precisely why it would do me such a great honor if you accepted. Look at his little smile on his face! Are you kidding? Then I accept. Thank you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fucking cry. You are most welcome. Happy lantern right. Oh, that reminds me. You pass along the advice for Nubulet's vacation. Mm. Approve a leave of absence request for myself. That sounds like it could easily lead to a vicious cycle of self-indulgence, something which couldn't be in further violation of protocol. <laughs> I suppose I understand her point. My proclivity to refrain from personal outings does, in part, originate from a sense of responsibility toward my duties. But it is also due to a lack of desire to engage in the human world. Mm. Now I see that the human world is indeed full of many interesting places to discover. I could have told you that. Oh my god, stop! Wait! Wait, so we can't actually put this in our teapot? Is it indoor or outdoor, Wuffle? It's really freaking cute. Hey, wait, let's talk to him one last time. Lantern Rite marks the start of the new year in Liyue. In the spirit of the season, then, I wish you a year of success as vast and endless as the open ocean. Oh my god, shut up. He's so cute. It is indoor. Let's fucking go. Put it in the office I made him. I think I'm going to have to make him an office as well. Honestly, that would be perfect. I'm going to do it. I'm stealing your idea.